Okay. Yo, Viku, how's it going? Saying, um, is the stream on? Okay, looks to be on now. Is everything good with the audio? Corba, did I spell it wrong? Oh no, you're just saying that. Yes, the Razor Cobra. Crazy mouse man, look at it. In the flesh. What are you, what are you guys thinking? Is everybody excited about this? Is this the mouse of the year? Shocking stream? It is, man. I'm trying to do these weekly streams. You guys know I love it, um, but... <laughs> it's just the hardest thing to do. Harder than any other job in life is uh, answering questions about the about mice on a weekly basis. Um, Viper Mini is dead. Yeah, there's no more um, OG Wired Viper Mini. That's been replaced with the uh, Wireless Cobra, or with the Wired Cobra. And the Wireless Cobra, the Cobra Pro, I just don't know what this mouse is. It really gives me, um, like, Viper Ultimate vibes. But it's like, the Viper Ultimate released, what, four years ago? So... It's just like, wow. Where are you located? I'm in Brooklyn, New York, where I'm hosting Boardsy Fest in exactly a week from now. How much? It's 130 for the wireless version and 40 for the wired, which is obviously um, like reasonable. It's the same price the uh, OG Viper Mini wired launched at, but it's the same sensor as well. So it's been over three years since they released the uh, standard Viper Mini, and it's still the 8500 DPI 1K polling sensor. So it's like, it just really feels like they didn't want to go above and beyond on this release. Um, can you show us the yellow mouse on your desk? Yeah, sure. This is the Avaxi NPO1S, um, all, the wireless version. They recently released it, and I'm going to have a review on this soon. It's very well built. Um, I saw some units were having some uh, creaking issues, but this feels like really solid Vaxi quality. And this is a unit that I just went out and bought. So, um, yeah, video on that soon. I've obviously covered the wired version. But they have made the switch to wireless. And this is the Optimum Tech Mouse. A lot of you guys were asking about that. And he fi he sent me out a unit. And I've been testing it. So I figured I could uh, talk about it as well. Boardsy in the hood. I would not say that, man. Um, I, f I feel pretty safe where I move around. Nice color. Yeah, they have, a, they have a good amount of colors. I think they have blue, orange, pink, and then yellow. And they all look like pretty vibrant. Now that is a nice looking mouse, the Vaxi. Yeah, I think solid colors are um, pretty hard. Like the Razer aesthetic, I, I guess people are still loving it, you know? I, I need to like make a TikTok though and see if anybody is in the target audience for this mouse because I just don't get it. Unless like the point of it is to sell the uh, like $70 dock or like a hyper polling dongle. I just don't understand like why this is a $130 mouse. The Viper Ultimate, unironically, is probably as good as this for most people. How's the MPO1S feeling so far? I, I have only had it for a day, so I have not been able to put enough like long-term testing on it, but it's feeling sharp. The wireless is feeling really good. It's obviously the same shape as before. I think they were able to drop the weight like a few grams from the wired version, but still feels pretty similar, and the clicks and shit are all very sharp. So really no complaints about the MPO1S. I'm just readjusting to the shape because it isn't a uh, conventional shape so just takes a little bit of getting used to meanwhile the uh, razor cobra this is pretty fucking standard uh, but it is heavy 77 grams and not too not too amazingly balanced you guys can see it does appear to be a little bit back heavy you can definitely notice that when it's in motion the wired version at 58 grams actually feels um like really good in terms of weight and it doesn't have the uh, side grips on the side so it feels a lot more true to the uh, viper mini shape I just really don't understand the Cobra Pro. I've said that a lot. Um, yo, Random Frank P, um, their target audience is for people who don't know the difference between anything and just want the re latest release. That's very possible. I mean, like, really, what separates this from the Viper Ultimate? Like, slightly newer tech, um, a fucking Bluetooth button, and that's, like, about it. I, I just really don't get it. It's just like the modern Viper Ultimate, I guess. Do you think Glorious will use the Series 1 Pro shape again? I mean... Glorious has big has been given the easiest fucking layup in the mouse scene history. Like the market clearly wants just a pure Viper Mini wireless like performance based clone um, that is not the signature edition that costs like three hundred dollars. And Glorious has that shape out there. Um, they just chose to only do it in a limited release. So if they don't come out with like a four K eight K hertz wireless version of that, which obviously is still not like set in stone to be a good product, but um, I mean I just feel like Glorious kind of has to go for that. Death Adder V3 wired or Cobra wired? Um, definitely Death Adder V3 wired, in my opinion. Especially considering that it's ha compatible with 8K. I mean, if you do have really small hands, it might not be for you. 
but that would be my recommendation. Random Frank P. Sheesh, yeah, I watched his uh, review on the uh, Cobra. It was the first one I watched. I don't like the shiny plastic near the scroll wheel. Well, it's uh, definitely a big feature for some people. I would imagine some people are buying the mouse because of that uh, glossy black alone. Show us the underside and the sensor placement. Here you go. I mean, the ma the top mouse gate design is like a bit weird. I don't know if um I've actually noticed it as a problem, though, or if the skates are just kind of controlled in general. Um, but yeah, nothing really to note about the sensor placement. looks to be dead center. Um, how's Optimum's mouse? It's really interesting. It's taking a while to get used to because... I don't know how many of you guys remember, but I actually reviewed something pretty similar to this a few months ago. Uh, but you see with the version I reviewed a while back, there's just one piece on the right side, while with Optimums, there's two separate ones. And the way I fingertip grip, I have my um, ring finger and pinky finger like pretty close to each other. I don't have them like separated, which is how this mouse is set up. So I've been kind of like having to relearn how to aim. And like for small dots and shit, I am just like kind of pitiful with this. Um, I'm just giving it some time. It's a at 30 gram wireless, pretty fucking light. But I would not say it's like far and away like better than an HSK wireless or something. Bottom looks like the super light, the Cobra. I mean, maybe in terms of like just the bottom shell design, but definitely does not give super light vibes in the hand. Can the Cobra be compared to the Starlight shape wise? Um, not really. Hold on, I'll show show them together the starlight is lower profile and feels thinner in the hand but one thing that kind of cucks the uh, cobra pro is the rubber grips like i seriously don't did anybody complain about not having the rubber grips on any razor mouse that like took them away i can't grasp why they put them back but maybe that's a feature for some people but it kind of like takes away the thumb curvature that the Viper Mini has. So the wireless version definitely doesn't feel like the Starlight, and it's literally like 30 grams heavier, so it's um, just a kind of crazy situation. What's the main feature and pulling rate of this mouse? Uh, well, it's 4,000 hertz pulling rate. It's compatible with the uh, Mouse Dock Pro and the, um, fuck, what's it called? The Hyper Pulling Dongle. So you can spend $70 and be able to put this mouse on a dock, that is one of the features for sure. Um, overall, like quality-wise, it's solid. But yeah, I don't know. This feels more in line with the uh, like G Pro Wireless Original and the Viper Ultimate like series of mice than modern releases. I guess it's like kind of close to the glorious Model O2 as well with the fucking Bluetooth feature. But definitely for the people who watch my channel, probably not the uh, not top option. Did you get the wired one? I did, man. I'm gonna, when I release my video, I'm obviously gonna cover both. The wired one is definitely a better buy, but just the fact that it has the same sensor as the Viper Mini, the OG wired one, just kind of feels like a sm smack in the face. The redundant profile switching with dedicated DPI bones also makes no sense to me. Oh, I didn't even, I didn't even get to that part yet. I'll have to, uh, yeah, I don't even know. I figured this was just like a top and a down DPI button. I don't even know what, what could possibly be going on. Oh, or unless you're talking about the bottom. It's fucking weird. It feels like a step backwards. Yeah, I feel like it's hard to argue that it's a step forwards. The way I see it is like maybe just an ambi basilisk. Like for people who like the basilisk but just want an ambi like feature packed mouse. But it doesn't even have the scroll wheel feature. So it's just kind of like, you know, what is this mouse? But I'm not going to lie. When I was using it in game, I wasn't loving it, but... It was not, it's obviously not going to be unusable. Like, it's a Razer mouse with top specs, 77 grams. It's not light. It doesn't feel incredible in the hand, but it's still a fucking usable mouse. Um, obviously, just feel like, should mention that. Is this mouse inclusive? I don't think it's inclusive. Um, I think the G705 still takes the cake for being the only inclusive mouse. Wait, where did I put the optimum mouse? I just want to show this one again. Basilisk sold well, Viper Mini sold well. Razor said, what if we made both? Apparently, the Viper Mini didn't sell well. Um, but based on the mouse community's reaction, you wouldn't believe that to be true. The RGB makes you a better player? True. It's a money grab from Razor. I feel like them not sending me a review unit was the true money grab because they know I was going to buy it and review it anyway. So they just wanted to boost the sales by not sending me one. Uh, by the way, I just feel like it's funny 
Um, they sent me the Razer Murray IEMs for review. Um, but they did not send me the new Cobra line of mice. But, you know, at the end of the day, still got the products. How much is the Wired Cobra? It's only 40 which is a pretty good price, in my opinion. I mean, honestly, the Viper Mini had been on sale for, like, 30 for a while. So it's actually more expensive than their previous, like, budget Wired mouse was. Is that Optimum Text Mouse? It is, man. He sent it out for uh, just some testing. This is not a completely finalized version, but I am still going to make a uh, video on it anyway. The uh, biggest adjustment, though, is just with the way I fingertip grip. Like, naturally, you see how there's uh, these two, like, separate pieces for your fingers? I just don't, like, I never fingertip gripped with my, like, pinky finger kind of curled and towards the back of the mouse. And he described it for, like, relaxed fingertip, which I always thought was, like, with your fingers flat. So um, I've just had to, like, kind of relearn how to fingertip grip. But the clicks on it are really interesting. Like, some of the fastest, like, most easily spammable, lightest click implementation I've ever felt. Yo, we got Sply in the chat. Um, this mouse is why Razor Wright moved departments. Did he? Is that true? Um, what's up, Vorzy and Rex? Yo, how's it going, Jake? A fucking blowing up in the mouse reviewing scene. Um, watch them make a Cobra V2 Pro. Yeah, see, I feel like they kind of fucked it with the nomenclature because they already called this the Pro. So where do you go from there? Like, the Pro Ultimate, maybe? The sig Pro Signature? The Razer Cobra signature would be the biggest troll release ever. Um, when Do we know when the next group of Pulsar mice are coming? No, I thought it would be the summer, but I'm not 100% not sure. How much does the Cobra weigh? It's 77 grams, and as you can see, it's like uh, definitely catered towards being back heavy. And if you fingertip it especially, it's just not going to feel good, man. Um, but the wired version is good. But am I really going to recommend like a, a budget wired mouse? Maybe to some people, you know, if you like the OG Viper Mini, this is basically the same thing. But the Cobra Pro, I'm struggling to find someone to recommend that to. Still rocking the beard, you know it. And uh, developing the mustache, that's the real important part of this all. Cobra V2 Pro, Cobra Pro Pro, I like that one. Can they make a mini of the Viper V3, do you think? The Viper V3? I don't even, like, am I, is my brain's just, like, overloaded with Razor naming shit. Um, did you see leaks of the Viper X whatever, the battery one? No, I actually didn't. Damn. I'm a, I'm not seeing the mouse leaks early. I'm out of a form. That's crazy. Now, I'll have to check that out, though. XM2 when? What do you mean? The XM2 Wii's been out for a while. The XM2W, nobody fucking knows. I think Endgame Gear doesn't know either. They just kind of, they're hoping people are going to forget about that, like, five releases down the line. Um, does your NPL1S have creaking? I had to RMA them. RMA mine? No, mine didn't. I uh, checked it immediately. And I did just order my unit when they put them up for sale. They did send me a review unit that's on the way, but I didn't know they were gonna. So this is just a standard retail unit and no creaking. Uh, can you compare GPX to Razer Cobra? I mean, honestly, just like, th it's pretty similar to how I compared the GPX to the Viper Ultimate. Brandon Frank P in here? No way, the fucking champion. Definitely recommend you guys watch his review if you want, like, full review of the mouse, basically. His opinion. <laughs> Did you review the AJ199? If so, what do you think of it? No, I have it on my desk, and I was liking it at first, but the click quality, it just has that a uh, cheap Chinese click quality feeling. Um, just, like, lots of post-travel and creaking, kind of, and the, it's really fucking back-heavy. Um, which I did not, which I didn't notice at first when I was like claw gripping, but then I was like playing small dots trying to uh, fingertip grip it, and I was like, wow, this just really feels like worse and just kind of dense in the hand. So um, I was liking it at first, but then I stopped liking it as much. But I'll definitely review it soon as well. Um, but like for the price, it's still kind of a crazy mouse. When next vid? Uh, it should be tomorrow. I don't know if I'm going to do a, it'll probably be like a Cobra first impressions or just like discussion style video. Um, how's the optimum mouse feeling? In terms of like just actual like feeling and moving the mouse around, it's insanely light. And I threw on the uh, grip tape that he provides. So it's like, just feels very solid. But the shape has been the biggest adjustment because of the way it's uh, designed. Um, appreciate people didn't like my review being mostly a rant against Razer, but I can't please everyone. I mean, there's honestly, like, once you cover the basic features of the mouse, it's like, there's not really a ton of new shit. Um, so you kind of just got to evaluate it compared to the other options, and I feel like that's what you did. 
Lamsu click feeling still ahead of Chinese mice. Yeah, for the most part. But like the VGN Dragonfly, for example, is a Chinese mouse that just had really good click feeling. Um, so I feel like it just comes down to the factory and like quality control more than anything. And uh, just like the click design as well. Can you give the rack mouses a review? I, aren't those just like clones of a. Uh, they're just like OEMs of mice that I've already reviewed. Initial impressions on NPO1S, um, really solid. I'm not having the uh, creaking issues that some people have had. Scroll wheel and just all the buttons feel fine. The uh, side buttons actually feel lighter to activate and improve. So I don't know if they listen to me or if they just plan to do that anyway. Um, but that was something I appreciated. But just like the curvature on this mouse is very weird compared to other mice because it's not like your traditional ergo. Um, but it's not like a full ambi shape, of course. So it's just like taking me a while to adjust back to you, but by the time I review it, I'm sure I will be uh, liking it a lot. And the wireless feels sick on it. Does the optimum mouse make your wrist ache since the shape is a bit odd? No, it's just, it's if anything, it's just I don't feel comfortable with my pinky because, hold on, I'll do it on the uh, Viper signature. You guys see how like my fingers are close to each other? With the optimum mouse, you can't really do that. Like there's not enough room on this one little piece. So I have to put my uh, finger back. So. That's something I've been adjusting to. I don't know if in the final version it will be possible to just like connect these pieces uh, because I, that would definitely make it more viable for me. But uh, yeah, it's the thing with the optimum mouse. But I was still able to get some uh, Kovac scores with it like pretty quickly. Do you use BTL grips for all, for your mouse? Um, I use grip tape on some mice that call for it, but I'm definitely not like a throwing grip tape on every mice type of person. Yo, thoughts and prayers with the big tenor. Um, yo, you got the Optimum V2 Pro. Let's go. Working on a version with the Viper Mini Signature Edition PCB, hopefully ready before Boardsy Fest. That's crazy. I mean, buying a Viper Mini Signature Edition for the PCB is some real baller shit. Um, but yeah, AK Wireless, like some fingertip concoction could be crazy. Appreciate the uh, tenor. Click height on the optimum mouse is unreal. Yeah, it is really low. Is it? I actually think it's um higher than this crazy like M2K wired fingertip mouse. That is like kind of a similar idea that I tried a few months back. If this mouse was wireless, this might be the greatest mouse of all time. I think it was like fucking 16 grams or something. Is that optimum's prototype? It is. I'm gonna I'm gonna make a video on that soon as well, going over it more. Um. What do you think about the Final Mouse Ultralight X? I think it's going to be, uh, like, it has potential to be really good. I obviously don't have it in hand yet, so I can't speak to everything, but definitely something I'm looking forward to. Yo, Boardsy streaming, let's go. Best way to start a day. Happy to hear that. Wait, start a day. Are you on the West Coast, maybe? Like, 10 a.m.? Hold, hold the trigger on the Series 1 Pro? Where'd you buy it? I thought those were like glorious, hadn't been producing them. Like Max Gaming still have some units. They literally set the scene so people like me buy the Viper Mini Signature Edition, so greedy. It is kind of crazy. Like they were on Reddit after the Signature Edition release being like, oh, just wait for the summer, we'll have something for you guys. And I just don't feel like the Viper Mini crowd is um, really feeling the Cobra Pro. So I mean, I definitely understand people feeling slighted. There were some reviewers who were like, you guys just can't care. It's like not an enthusiast mouse, but it's like clearly people were expecting just a standard wireless Viper Mini. Like, why can't they just make a hyperspeed edition? I, I really don't get it. Stop caring about 3D printed meme mice. I mean, that's definitely not, um, that's not a decision that you, you'll probably wind up regretting until there's some like finger, there is some 3D printed mouse that comes around that is um, better in quality than the uh, standard mice. Um, do you recommend small mice? Depending on the mouse and depending on what you prefer. In many instances, yeah, but I'm not somebody who's like, you need the fucking smallest, thinnest mouse ever or else you're a bum. Um, how does 3D printed resin feel in comparison to plastic 3D printed mice? Um, I, I've honestly, I've tried so many 3D printed mice at this point, I just can't think like which are which. Um, but I've never had one that still feels solid compared to like um, ABS injection molding. So I feel like that's a good answer. Um, the Ultralight XML is probably gonna make the Viper Mini Signature Edition completely arbitrary. I mean, if unless they really fumble the bag, it's gonna be a much better value than the Signature Edition. But um, I don't know, I know some people who really love the Viper Mini Signature Edition. Mine are kind of, the glass skates are starting to wear out though. So I need to uh, throw the PTFE ones back on, get back to uh, intense gaming. Is the Cobra worth it? The Cobra Wired could be worth it if you uh, like the OG Viper Mini Wired, but the Cobra Wireless? 
I just, I don't see it. Like, I would recommend a Viper VG Pro over it all the way. Um, this is kind of, if you're somebody who's, like, been stuck on the Viper Ultimate, you love, like, the charging dock, if that's your if that's your jam, then maybe this mouse is for you. But at 130, I feel like, um, like, gaming focus, there are so many better mice available. Do you have an Addis code? They don't do codes, but I do believe I have a, a link through them. I don't know if it gives a discount, though. Thoughts on Viper Mini being $60 these days? It's um, no longer produced, so it makes sense that it's going to go up as units are gradually less available. XE Wireless versus NPO1S for large hands. If you want like a thinner, nimble mouse that you can more aggressively grip, go with the NPO1S. But if you want something like a bit more like chunky and just stable, I would say um, XE Wireless is better. Um, will they ever do another Viper May signature drop? Of course, but that's another thing. Like, they they aren't really producing an adequate amount of those. Um, because, like, even if somebody wants one, it's not, like, actively in stock. The resale prices aren't too crazy now. I don't think it's, like, over 400 anymore. What do you think about the wrist rest you can buy with the wooden keyboard? I'm not a big keyboard wrist rest guy, but uh, I've heard some good things about it. They sent it out, and I just didn't. It was, like, not something that I really felt compelled to keep on my desk, though. Um, so, like, over here in India, Death Air V3 Wired, 6,000, Cobra Wired, 3,600, which one? <laughs> Probably the Cobra Wired if you're on a budget. I honestly don't know Indian um, currency conversions off the top of my head. I'll get on that, though for you uh do you agree viper design and lines are far more premium than this cobra um just in terms of like design language i'm not i mean this kind of just reminds me of the basilisk like i've said a few times like the basilisk and the viper ultimate um so yeah honestly there's a lot of unneeded stuff for me i would say like the side grips are more of a complaint like i just don't get it and the weight for sure but that's not really the design language have you tested Huntsman May since new firmware update? No. Since they still have the minimum of 1.5 millimeter actuation, I just, like, it doesn't really come close to outclassing uh, Wooting. But I don't have the keyboard anyway because I gave it to a friend. Does the Cobra have a bigger hump than the Viper Mini? Um, I'm honestly, like, <laughs> sounds so bad, but I'm not sure. Like, in the hand, it feels very, like, the Viper Mini feels a bit wider almost. But I need to really uh, schizo down and look at the shapes. Yeah, like Viper Mini feels like it flares out more. <laughs> Will there be a Boardsy Fest in Asia? Given the fact that I just got my passport and can travel, like, potentially, but there's nothing planned. And organizing it in Brooklyn, where I've lived all my life, is not easy at all. So I couldn't imagine Asia, um, which just seems 20 times more complicated. Thoughts on thoughts? Good question. I'm surprised so many people care about the Cobra. Um, I think, like, fuck, what's the word? Like, in a vacuum, people don't really care about the Cobra, but it's the new Razer release that people were expecting to be a standard, like, Viper Mini V2 Pro. So, uh, I think that's why people care. Like, the actual, like, mouse itself, people will just realize it's either for them or not for them and move on. Um, I doubt it's going to be, like, a big player in the enthusiast mouse scene, but... Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I'm going to, like, make a TikTok post, like, trying to identify the casuals that, like, might use this mouse. Because I just don't know them. Like, I never come across them. Like, all the people I know who just, like, casually play games, like, they don't have mice like this at their setup. Like, who the fuck is using it? Does anybody know? Boardsy Fest in the UK? If I come to Europe, it's probably going to be um, Germany, I'm thinking. That would be the, uh, probably, like, the mecca of Europe, in my opinion. Boardsy Fest EU 2024? I feel like that could be organized, honestly. That would be really sick. Yo, JoeTube, joining the amazing tier. I appreciate that. Not too often do people become uh, YouTube members. I wish I could provide some value for that. <laughs> Cobra's a mess? Definitely okay to feel that way. Um, How's Punch Stormbreaker versus G403 slash 703? Just really not a similar shape. Uh, much closer like the Zowie EC series. But yeah, I have to finish um, testing the Pwned Stormbreaker. That one grew on me a lot. Uh, the, full, the full review will be probably a bit more positive about the Stormbreaker. The clicks are still kind of shit, though. Um, Lamzu Mini off your desk? Yeah, the Mini's off my desk. The standard size is being blocked. It's uh, in the background. Are you going to be at Boardsy Press? Bo Boardsy Fest? Thoughts and prayers? That's sick. Uh, is this ma mouse worth it if I own the Viper V2? I would honestly say absolutely not. Like, do you want a 20 gram heavier mouse? 
I can't like really understand why you would. There's compared to the Viper V2, like head to head gaming wise, I don't think it has a feature that makes it better. G703 Super Light when? I, that's a good question, man. You should. Uh, you're better off asking Logitech, and I don't think they have an answer. Somebody asked about the yellow mouse, and it is the Zigan NPO1S wireless. Vaxi's newest wireless mouse. This was my favorite shape of theirs, and I was just looking really forward to them finally coming out with a wireless version. Um, but just after using, like, ergos and, like, small, thin ambies for so long, the shape's kind of taken a while to get adjusted to, but, yeah, just stay tuned for the reviews in a bit. Yo, Super Beings, with the $5, Boardsy the Goat, excited for Boardsy Fest. Appreciate that, and I really appreciate the uh, 10 pads you guys sent out. Super Beings pads are going to be available at Boardsy Fest. The Memra, Memra, Fro, holy shit. Um, and yeah, I'm also going to be able to post a review on it. Big mouse pad roundup coming soon. Many pads. Smoothest mouse pads for skin to avoid sticking to pad. Um, I would say you really can't go wrong with like an Artisan Zero X Soft or like a Saturn Pro. Um, yeah, something like that. Just maybe even a Raiden. Like a cloth pad where it's not going to be too massively affected by humidity. Uh, but like smoothness, GameSense Radar is really smooth as well. Will Drain Gang play Talk To Me Nice at Boardsy Fest? Um, you know, I tried to get guest appearances from them, but unfortunately the city... You, like, can't have amplified noise unless you get a specialized permit from the NYPD. So I just couldn't arrange that, unfortunately. Bro, why don't you stream on Twitch? Why would I stream on Twitch? Like, on YouTube, it's like, think about it. Every one of my YouTube subs is on YouTube. Not every one of my YouTube subs is on Twitch. So why would I stream on a platform where it's, like, my audience ne isn't at, necessarily? I'll oh, travel to USA just for Boardsy Fest? Let's go, man. P book that last-minute flight. Um, yo, is the GaveSense Radar Artisan Zero level in your opinion? Um, in terms of, like, quality, it's definitely not, like, at the same level as Artisan, but it's a very solid control pad, like the 500 by 500 size, pretty sick. What do you think about the Last Legend Final Mouse? It was one of the better Starlight iterations. Um, I've been using it, testing it with the uh, Viper May Signature and the Cobras recently, but um, it's definitely not, like, worth buying now with the ULX dropping so soon, in my opinion. Happy to hear, Joe Tube. Um, Twitch is trash because of funny emotes. True. Once YouTube gets the funny emotes, then it's really Jover. Do you have any mouse recommendations? Currently using a Viper Ultimate? I would recommend watching my Viper VG Pro review. And if that seems like the mouse for you, going from a Viper Ultimate, it'll definitely be the uh, like top recommendation. Would you consider coming to Singapore? Um, it's possible. I mean, Razor HQ's there, so that could make, like, a cool, like, tour type shit. And I hear that, like, when you're flying from U.S. to, like, China, um, you're supposed to, like, stop in Singapore. Or it's, like, some country. Because then you get, like, a way cheaper, like, connecting flight. So maybe, um, if that lines up as well. I definitely want to go to Asia, like, within the next year. Did Endgame send you their new pad? I don't fucking know, man. Like, Endgame has just always been, like, so ineffective at sending me stuff it's unbelievable like i'm just about to start buying their products any recommendations for a fingertip grip mouse um honestly a lot of them it just depends on your budget though because cheap fingertip grip mice are not as easy to come across have you ever gotten food poisoning yeah a few times last time i remember is in high school from a like halal food cart is this the optimum tech mouse it is man I'll try to like uh, compare it to some other, some like other shapes. Is the Ninjutsu Sora worth it in 2023? It's like another one of those uh, small 3395 claw grip mice. So, do you think it is better than the uh, other options in its class for you? Go for it. Is the Aqua Control Plus a good mouse pad? Yeah, I've been putting a lot of time on the uh, custom one, and it's just like it's a really standard pad. So many pads have cloned it at this point, and yeah, it's just like a. Uh, controlled hybrid pad what's your hand size i say like 21 by 11 i've been told i'm lying about it but it seems true to me you look nice today i appreciate that what microphone do you use the electro voice uh, re20 i've had it for a while now one of the best investments and game got eagle like crazy and they've literally done nothing i'm just so surprised that like the xm2w still hasn't released 
Like, I know I say that a lot, and it might just like go in one ear and out the other, but that mouse was released... That was put up for pre-orders in April of last year. It's becoming like a Ninox Astrum situation. Does Endgame Gear have product that is available that in this century? I, yeah, I don't know what's going on with the mouse man. Maybe I'll get one soon. Board Z companies don't send me their products. Also, Board Z, I'll buy them anyway. It's true. It's not, the, it's not the best strap, but I don't want to become the guy that's, like, refusing to give products coverage because I'm not getting sent it for free. Like, that, that rubs me the wrong way um, more than companies not sending me their shit. How do you like the Optimum Tech Mouse? I, I'm liking it a good bit. It's just the uh, shape that's taking me time to get adjusted to. Because as I've explained a few times, um, the way I grip mice for fingertip, I just have my fingers like close together towards the top of the mouse. But you can see like this design, there's the two separate um, like pieces for your fingers. So it kind of like forces my pinky finger back on the mouse more, um, which is just not how I'm used to fingertip gripping. So. Um, it's really interesting. It's having like a long adjustment period, but I'm sure I'll get used to it. Talk more about it in the uh, video. How heavy is the Razer Cobra? Make sure you're sitting down for this one, man. It's 77 grams. And it's not one of those mice where it's like, it's balanced to the point it like makes it feel 10 grams lighter. It's, it's definitely not made to be a lightweight performance focused mouse, but the wired one is 58 grams. But this is just a wired mouse with the same sensor that the Viper Mini had. So it doesn't feel like a big jump from the Viper Mini. It kind of just feels like a uh, ever so slightly improved Viper Mini. It would be really cool if this had like 8K pulling. I wouldn't care if it was like $10, $15 more even. But uh, yeah, it just seems like these releases were a bit confusing. They probably didn't send me them for a reason. Bro, what? 77 grams? Yeah, I know. It's like over 20 grams heavier than the uh, Viper V2 Pro. Does not make much sense for me. Is it over 20 grams? Is that like a 55 gram mouse or is it 58? I don't want to keep lying. Are you going to stream Boards e Fest? No, but there will be a vlog. A stream is just too hard to do. You can't do it off your phone and you need like a huge IRL streaming backpack and it's just like, it just wouldn't be the play. But there will be a video. <clears throat> yeah, that's why it makes it all the more important. You got to come out if you can. No way they made a mouse smaller than the Viper Ultimate. <laughs> it's three grams heavier. There might be a way, man. There might be a way. Yeah, no, it's just so funny. And it's like, yes, every mouse does not have to be an enthusiast, like, lightweight grade mouse. But you think when they've been, like, egging people on about a Viper Mini wireless, like a normal version, they would come out with something that isn't such a weight increase. Very interesting to me. Damn, 77, I'm a cop one to do some bicep curls. Yeah, this could get you yoked compared to uh, other mice. That's one, one advantage. So the wired Cobra is S tier on your list, technically. Yeah, I mean, it, for a budget wired mouse, I I'd say it's probably like a, somewhere between A and S tier. V2 Pro is 59 grams. Okay, so just just under 20 grams heavier. Easy to mod. Also, does it come with 4K dongle? No, that's the crazy thing. It does not come with the 4K dongle. You can additionally purchase the Mouse Dock Pro for 70 big ones, or you can purchase a, a hyper pulling dongle, or you can obviously connect it to one if you have one. Um, but yeah, that is another crazy part. Um, the mouse dock obviously is 4K and is a wireless charging dock. Oh, my fucking camera died, hold on. Just give it like a, just give it one minute to chill with the uh, overheating. Uh, maybe I can put like display capture on or something. Oh yeah, by the way guys, while the screen is black, make sure to leave a like on the YouTube stream. That's a huge thing for some reason. How heavy is it? It's 77 grams. Um, what's the best mouse for you if you're tired of the super light? I mean, I don't know. There are just so many options now. What are you tired about? Like, I would say Death Adder V3, but I don't know if that's the type of shape you're looking for, really. Fuck, my camera's still, like, super hot. I'm going to give it, like, 10 more seconds. Artist and Hien still good in 2023? Absolutely. Fresh Hien is still one of the best pads that God's ever put on this green earth. The so spacer grips are game changers? I've kept them on my Viper Mini, I'm not gonna lie. Like, at first I, I just didn't see the use, but I just, I've kind of come to appreciate them. But it's not something where I'm kind of, like, fiending to put them on every mouse. But I would definitely like to see them be, like, a pretty widespread product. Razer Viper Ultimate with a dock at release, 150 Cobra Pro with a dock, 210? Is it? For, in the U.S., it's 130 plus 60, or is the dock 70? So, like, around 200 bucks for the dock. Yeah, I mean, there's no, 
there's no arguing that this mouse is not like a step back. Um, what's your final decision? X off zero or soft? I'm an X off boy. I've just come around to it. Okay, now, now the camera should be a okay. Can't have this thing dying on me. This is like prime time. Best alt for Osu? Um, maybe a Lethal Gaming Gear Venus, but the Osu is pretty unique. Oh fuck! I deactivated and activated the wrong camera. Okay, here we go. Back in business. My my apologies about that. Is the X2 Mini a good Viper Mini substitute? I would say so. Um, definitely one of the ones that I recommend. But X2 Mini is like not as widely available anymore. Do you still have the premium black version? Because I thought they were um, like discontinuing it. Are you an arm sleeve enjoyer? No, I've been sent out arm sleeves by like Skypad, Pulsar, like just fucking everybody. Every company's making an arm sleeve. I just don't really don't use them. Maybe I should though. Maybe I should make an arm sleeve video. Because it seems like a lot of people use them. But... I feel like the truth is that those are just one of the highest margin products ever. So if companies see people buying it, they're just gonna they're gonna hop on and make them. Vitas Pros at forty dollars. Thoughts definitely a better value um, than the stock price. Pretty good buy. Considering it's like flat packed and shit. That's the type of pad you're looking for. Please compare with Lamzu Mini, dude. Uh, the Cobra. I will in uh, my video tomorrow. Where's the Ajaz AJ199 vid? Um, it's coming. I the more I test this mouse, the more I kind of don't like it. So I'm just gonna see how like I'm gonna try to use it for like uh, another week of playtime basically and see how it feels then. Because I'm really not a fan of the clicks. Um, I'm not a fan of the like back heaviness of the weight. And even though it's like 60 grams or whatever, it does feel like kind of dense. Arm sleeve with Skypad 3.0 with glass pads it's different because some of them kind of necessitate it. Um, what's Extrify doing? They've been missing since last year? I don't know. They got bought out by Cherry and just have not done shit with mice. It's kind of sad. That's why I wish I knew Rocky Jump Ninja. Like, personally, I could be like, hey, when's the next RJN mouse coming? But, such is life. Holy shit, this guy's uh, spamming a question, so I'm gonna have to put him in timeout. <laughs> would you get V3 Pro? V3 Pro or Last Legend Final Mouse? I would go Death Adder V3 Pro. Um, if you want a final mouse, just wait for the ULX, which is going to be for sale on August 1st. Which ULX size you recommend? I personally prefer the uh, small, but it seems like that's going to be the last one they release. They're going to start off with the medium, so if you're interested in the mouse, probably just go for the medium. Dame to Miami, is it official? I saw that he requested um, earlier. Shit, wait, that's interesting. Let me pull up my uh, Twitter. Is glass pads meant for pro gaming? I mean, they're definitely not, like, not made for pro gaming, but there's a reason that, like, pros are not overwhelmingly using them. But there's no, like, there's nothing about glass pad that makes it inherently bad for uh, pro games, I guess. Lambs of Atlantis Mini 4K or VGN Dragonfly F1 4K? Thanks. It's going to come down to uh, price and shape preference. I would say Lambs is a bit more tried and true, but... Um, VGN Dragonfly. Pretty much a hidden gem. Do you have the NPO1S yet? Yes. He, right? It's right here, here in the flesh. I'm liking it a lot. Um, it's just like the shape, after you don't use it for like over a year and a half or whatever, it's a bit polarizing to go back to, but there is a reason I liked it so much, so I just got to uh, gotta find my comfort on the mouse. Does your NPO1S have flexing issue? No, it doesn't. I guess luckily. Um, this is just a standard retail unit as well. Have all of the colorways have a have had the uh, flexing issue, or is it just one or two? What's the max hertz on that Cobra? It's 4K compatible, which is like, I guess they're just gonna put the top tech in the mice that they're calling pro, but like mice like this in the Basilisk, I don't know if they really need the uh, higher polling rate implementations. So yeah, that's another thing. Like you don't need to go out and spend $70 on the mouse dock for the higher polling rate, or like go buy a fucking dongle if you don't want it, I suppose. Will you be doing a review on the Stormbreaker? Yeah, I've been testing it and it's been growing on me, but I've just also been getting a ton of mice recently, so I had to just push it back a little bit while I get adjusted to the other shit. Is it more flat than an FK? The uh, the Cobra? No. I would say if you're looking for like an FK flat shape, go for the uh, Viper VG Pro from Razer. This is going to feel like there's a bit more hump, similar to the uh, Viper Mini. Hmm, what is best for CSGO? Like the Vaxi Tech? Use the uh, comp. 
Do you hold any Bitcoin? Not currently. Am I going to regret that though? Should I be holding Bitcoin? Has the NPO1S middle click? Uh, pretty light. The scroll wheel feels thin, but that's just like how it's designed. Um, yeah, definitely not like stupidly heavy. I don't know if that was an issue a while ago. What do you think about the NPO1S? It's really like solid in my book. They improved the side buttons a bit. They made them a bit less stiff, a bit more spammable, which is something I requested. I have no issues with the build quality on my unit. Um, but obviously, if there is inconsistency, that should be addressed. Um, the clicks feel extremely premium, as they always do. Coding feels really nice. The mouse looks nice. Wireless feels good. Um, just the shape is taking a bit of adjusting to. Um, and the weight, obviously, is not the lightest mouse on the market, but I'm not I'm not holding my nose using this thing. VGN or Lamzu better for claw? I'd probably say Lamzu for claw. I've heard the Cobra Wired has issues on glass pads. I have a glass pad right here so um i will test that and get back to you happy fourth of july it's the first of july but you know the fourth is coming up so i appreciate that best valorant mouse i i don't know man um whatever mouse is the best for you is going to be the best for valorant <laughs> your beard is creepy but sexy that's crazy is it the mustache the, ma the mustache is supposed to be intentionally like out there, but the beard should just be a uh, standard. Should I buy the new Endgame Gear Control Pour on Pad? I don't know. I haven't tried that yet. I don't know if it's going to be like a significant jump or just like a regular degular Pour on Pad. Do you think Logitech will clap back after this Cobra fiasco? I mean, Logitech still. They've kind of been waiting to clap back for a while. There was the Viper V2 Pro, Death Adder V3 Pro, Viper May Signature, and, like, what is Logitech released in that time? So, I mean, even if this flop, this release is a flop from Razer, I think they still have, like, their enthusiast-geared mice that are selling well. Um, you think in use Steelcase Leap V2 or Aeron? I'm a Steelcase Leap V2 lover till I die, but that being said... Um, the Steelcase Think, I've heard very good things about it. I saw it was, like, stupidly cheap when I was looking at chairs a while back, but I just didn't need the upgrade. But, yeah, I would say Steelcase, man. Will the Lakers make any trades? I'm hurting as an L.A. native. Um, I saw Schroeder left. It's not looking good for him. Like, what are you, what are you guys even going to trade for? Didn't get Kyrie? It's like, oof. At least Logitech is inclusive. True. Wait, I saw they were, um... Wait, hold on. Let me uh, pull this up and show you guys. I saw they were giving away these, like, Pride Month mice, but I don't know if they were... I don't know if they were... Uh... Wait, what the flip? Like, they actually made these, or they were custom painted? This person's commenting saying they would love an asexual flag. Um, we can do an asexual flag mouse. This is awesome. How do I, how do I enter this? They should definitely release Pride Editions. Yeah, I just saw that and was like, wow. <laughs> Don't listen to the creepy beard comments. Beautiful, man. I appreciate that. Lakers need a center. They they need to get Dwight Howard back from Taiwan, but he's going to be a hard bargain. He's loving that place. Um, I use a Steelcase Leap, or Steelcase Think V2. It's great. No Herm Miller and body, but great for the price. Yeah, I don't know. Um... I might get a new chair, but mine has just been serving me so well. It's been, like, three years at this point. Custom painted? Okay, got it. I mean, that's, like, they should have given the artist credit, though. That's kind of hateful. Might get a Cobra wired? If you like the Viper Mini wired, um, it's going to be practically exactly the same thing. They say infinite pads... Infinite pad speed. I, I have no idea what the fuck that is, man. Um, is a rating clone. I haven't tried it. Um, I have actually never heard of it. Twitter is dying today? Holy, what's going on on Twitter? It's been working A-OK -okay for me, but I'm a Twitter Blue subscriber. Maybe that's the way it has to be in the future. Does the Stormbreaker need grips? I saw reviews and people say it's unusable without grips. I prefer not using grips. I really don't like the way that the side holes feel without grips. They do include some in the box, um, and I think that just makes the mouse a lot more enjoyable. But if you don't like the obscure, like, cheese grater holes, I would say you're probably going to want to put grips. Damn, there's a fucking, just so many comments spamming. Oh, it's because this guy's saying, show me Logitech again, please. What, what does that mean? Show you the picture of, like, the trans flag mouse? Just go to Logitech's Twitter. 
You don't have to tell me that uh, 20 times. Read new Elon tweet? Okay. What's your opinions on Death Adder V3 Mini if that came out? Damn, I thought I thought your comment said, what's your opinions on Death Adder V3 Mini that just came out? And I was like, what the spruce? Um, but I would obviously be pretty excited. I don't know if I would prefer it over the uh, normal size, um, considering how much time and just how much I enjoy the standard Death Adder, but I mean, that's like the only complaint is some people that it's like too big for them, so. Verified accounts are limited to reading 6,000 posts a day? What the fuck? Unverified account 600? That's actually, that seems really scuffed. You haven't heard of infinite, okay. Infinity mice is not infinite mice speed. It's not my fault, you can't word the question properly. Um, but no, I haven't tried those pads. And there's the Vagabond that was like a limited release which is just not worth reviewing. Um, Wordsy, would you become a gym rat? I mean, I've been in the gym for, like, a year and a half. I, uh, don't really need to make it, like, my personality, though. What's the best mouse to fly? A Mikoyan Gurevich 21. I don't know, man. I feel like you would have a better answer for that than me. Why didn't the Death Adder Mini ever take off? Because it was, like, the worst shape of all time, and they only had a wired version. So... Um, it's hard to sell a mouse when it's terrible. Twitter just doesn't work for many right now? Yeah, because apparently you can only read 600 posts a day or some, like, stupid shit. Infinite mice speed. Yeah, like, how, how did I not know, man? <laughs> Best Fortnite mouse? Death Adder V3 or GPX? Like, I, I'm serious? Like, 99.9% .9 of Fortnite players use one of those two mice. Um, the Vagabond Smelly? Is it one of those pads with, like, a strong rubber smell? Reckon it could be worth getting something like a Viper Mini than cable modding it? Paracords are just so rare at this point. You're just better off getting a cheap wireless mouse. Like, you can find wireless mice, like, under 60 bucks at this point, which is how much of that would cost with, like, a cable mod, and just why not get a wireless mouse? Um, do you think Razer's disconnect... Do you think Razer's disconnect from the community a small mouse issue? Like, some of these questions, I just don't get what they're asking. <laughs> I think Razer, um, I don't know why they didn't make a small one. Maybe they just want to make a Boardsy edition, and they want me to come out with the uh, perfect Viper Mini for the community. When the time comes, will you review the original Saturn Pro versus the new one? Yeah, I've been like begging Lethal Gaming Gear for an updated version of the Saturn, but it's just not ready yet. Uh, but they should be soon. D'Lo just re-signed with the Lakers? Am I tripping, or did he... Um... Wait, hold on. I thought I saw that a while ago, but I might just be like... Uh... Deja vuing. I hope you'll review the uh, Lamzu Maya when it comes out. Oh shit, to your 37, you're not lying. Um, yeah, whenever the Lamzu Thorn and Maya comes out, they're obviously going to send them to me, and I'm obviously going to review them, but that just is not happening yet, So, and I don't know when it will. Best wireless mouse for sexy? I've dropped reviews on um, like some of my latest mouse reviews, the Zalpin Z1 Pro, VGN Dragonfly F1 Pro, Like those are top cheap wireless mice um yo mem with the tenor ubu and or owo what's up man more of an owo guy myself i guess appreciate the uh, 10 how's it going boards do we need to know best mouse to get girls that's a good question man you just need a huge flex you need a final mouse if, you're, if you don't have a final mouse she's just going to go for a guy that does Are you a Brooklyn Nets fan or a New York Knicks fan? I'm a Knicks fan. Um, I, I definitely appreciate the Nets. Like, I don't hate them. And, like, I can root for them. But, like, first and foremost, I'm a Knicks fan. I'm actually in a Nets shirt that they um, gave away at the playoff game I went to. I like it a lot. Like, the Nets are a joke franchise, though. Soon you're going to need a bigger desk. It's actually so bad. Like, I have so many boxes piled up because I've ran out of room for mice. Um, can I buy your signature edition? Why? Do you, do you think I'm going to sell it? Like, I would just be without a Viper Mini Signature Edition. I think I need, like, 300 bucks that bad. How's Optimum Text Mouse? It's, like, in terms of the design and shit, it's good. I just, um, I'm struggling to get used to the shape. But by the time I have a video on it, I'm pretty sure I'll be more adjusted. But yeah, there were some um, scenarios where just clicking it felt, it's like, I can't even just show you guys how light the fucking clicks are on this. GPX has to be the one. To get girls? I mean, that's like, 
I don't know. GPX is definitely top tier as well. Hate the Nets. Big Philly. Well, I'm sure you enjoyed the series then because uh, Philly fucking smoked them. You look like Edmund Shabizen. I I've never heard of that guy, honestly. It's the first time I've gotten that one. Should I upgrade from Atlantis Mini to 4K Atlantis Mini? Um, I would say if your unit's perfect and you aren't having any issues, you definitely don't need to, but if you're on like a high refresh rate monitor, just want the fresh mouse, why not? Just join. Can you describe Cobra in three words? Um, I guess it doesn't make sense would be the three words that come to mind. But yeah, that's the Cobra Wired. Um, it's just kind of like for people who like the Basilisk, but want a ambi mouse, I guess. Cobra new main? Absolutely. This one's definitely not going back in the box after the review. Um, serious question. Does Razer just not give an F and re avoid releasing Viper Mini Pro? Is it because they want 300? Um, it's, I don't know what it is. I really can't put my finger on why they didn't release like a Viper or a Cobra Hyperspeed even. With like, you don't even have to put in the best of the best sensor. Which is like make a standard wireless affordable version, which is basically what the Viper Mini was. But, you know, maybe I'll ask them to do a Boardsy edition, and then we'll get we'll get it. Who knows? Did you listen to Lil Uzi Vert's new album? Um, I listened to a few songs, but it's crazy. Endless Fashion, the one with Nicki Minaj, might be the greatest song of all time. Like, I've listened to it at least 40 times so far, and I just can't find a flaw. It's like... Some people are saying the album's trash, but that song alone, like, made the album for me. I'm not even trolling. You guys, you guys gotta listen to that song. What is the advantage of higher hertz mice? Just, like, better mouse input, smoother motion, like, less motion blur feeling, lower delay. It's like, just everything feels better about the mouse. Fanatic Jet review in the works at all? I mean, I'm gonna include it in a roundup, but not really. It's not like I'm eager to cover that pad. Mouse heads are just fucking boring me. Especially since I had a like prototype of that pad in 2020. But I should definitely cover it. Control yourself. W take. See now I don't know if my take's good or not. Album review Anthony Arc? True. Yeah I wonder if he's gonna give it. Mm -mm. Yes, bro. Old Nikki is back. Yes, Nikki W. I'm a stan. How long have you played with Optimum's mouse? I believe I got it on the uh, the 28th of June. So I've had it for like three days now. And the first day I played with it like all day. And then I played a bit with it the next day. And then the uh, fucking Cobras and NPO1S came. So I didn't use it too much yesterday. Was there any music? There was certainly some music. Um, there was some not so great music and then some great music. What mouse pad do you use? I would say my main pad recently has been the Artisan Zero X Soft. Uh, my mouse pad rotation is really like slimmed down. I don't swap pads the way I used to. Yeah, just like top tier artisans been using this Aqua Control Plus a lot as well. Are there any mice like GTX with LOD adjustability? What do you mean? Like where you can change the LOD? Would the MP01S be a good alternative? I mean, it's a different shape. But you're looking for like a GTX shape where you can change the LOD. That is interesting. Bearded Bob could fix the Cobra. I feel like there's going to be a lot of weight modding shit on the Cobra. Whether it be like a lighter base plate, like a 3D printed one, like a battery swap, just like, I don't know, maybe somebody's going to open up this mouse and find a way to shave some weight off of it. But yeah, I'm not going to lie. This thing's a brick. <laughs> Does the rubber seem sturdy? I mean, the rubber is the same as they had on the uh, Viper Ultimate a few years ago, and there weren't many cases of the rubber wearing out, unless you were, like, actually a freak um, and put, like, years of just, like, basically digging your finger into it. But, yeah, I, it feels solid for the most part. Imagine not listening to Yeet right now. I wish I could listen to music without getting the stream fucking demonetized. Um, is the Aku Control too good? Of course. Oh yeah, X-Ray Pad was also kind enough to send out 20 more of the uh, the Boardsy Fest pads on the Aqua Control Zero. So Boardsy Fest attendees, shit just keeps getting better, better and better and better. Um, DAV3 wired or just go for wireless? I if you like the wired mouse, like 
don't really need wireless, I would say go for wired all day. Um, but I prefer the wireless. How much does it weigh? The Cobra is 77 grams, man, the wireless version. And the wired one's 58. So it's like you have these two mice next to each other that are part of the same series, but they just don't feel the same at all. Um, and factor into that the rubber grips on the side versus just the standard plastic sides. I'm just like, it just literally feels like the uh, Viper release all over again. <laughs> How about GP4 for 10 USD? I mean, is it like used and worn out? I don't feel like $10 for any mouse pad is going to be a bad value. EU Boardsy Fest next year? It's definitely possible. If it were to happen, it would be in like Germany. Because um, that's like the one EU country that like sticks out to me. It's like a mecca that I would actually want to go to. Have you tried the ASUS AIMLAB mouse? Um, yeah, I, uh, I have tried it. I have it because the sensor implementation is good. You bought it for the sensor implementation alone. See, that's interesting. Like, why not just buy, like, a Viper V2 Pro, Death Air V3 Pro? You just want, like, best tech. Because I feel like the shape on that one's kind of weird. Um, what would be your recommendation for a lighter version of G403703? There is nothing that really is going to feel like the same shape and just, like, feeling in hand. Um, why is Razer trolling us? I don't know. It does feel like trolling, though. <laughs> Because, like, realistically, they knew that the Cobra Pro wasn't going to satisfy, like, the people who just want a performance-based Viper Mini wireless. And they know that some people are priced out of the Signature Edition that they can't even keep in stock. So, I, I can't really grasp it either. What do you think of the new Final House? It seems really sick. Try the Pulsar X. Did you try Pulsar Kovacs X2? No, they didn't send that one out to me, and I don't really... Um, I'm, like, okay with that. They did send out the clear one, though. Like, I just don't need all of the uh, versions that are basically the same as the Boardsy Edition with a updated coding in Juanos. Piranha Mod 703, I guess. But yeah, I don't even know if that's a uh, upgrade necessarily. It is the same thing in a lighter shape, I suppose. <laughs> Thoughts on Gretz of Answer Wireless? Just outdated and pretty bad at this point. Just don't go for it. Worth waiting... To um, for a final mouse to come out or buy the Viper Pro now. If you're interested in the final mouse and you already have a solid mouse, I would say wait till August and then just try to order it then. Why don't re you review Corsair, Corsair mice? Because they're garbage. Most of them, like, they just, I've checked out a few of their recent mouse releases and they're just nothing special. Um, so that's really just what it comes down to. They're not a company focused on making, like, top tier enthusiast grade mice. Do you think XG Clear turning yellow will be an issue now? Nah, it's not really an issue with the uh, clear mice I've tried in the past. I'm hearing it's a top tier mouse. What you're hearing, what is? If you come to Germany, I need to be there. Let's go. I mean, I'm hoping I can make it to Germany. It seems very possible. Why the heck Razer released a... 77 gram Viper Mini Shape. Your, your guess is as good as mine. Um, apparently there's an audience out there who really yearns for, uh, for mice like this. They're like a... It's like a... Fuck, what are they called? Like, non-contacted humans. Like, you can't get a hold of them. You can't really figure out who they are. But they're out there. They exist somewhere. Can we boycott buying Razer products? I mean, I feel like it's really not that deep. Like, this is just a mouse that's not going to be for a lot of people. Like, the way they kind of marketed it as, like, it would be the solution for people who want a Viper Mini Wireless. Like, yeah, feel slighted about that. But they still have, like, pretty much the best wireless mice out. So I feel like it would be dumb to, like, boycott them or anything like that. What's your opinion on Lamzu? Very solid mice at um, solid prices, I would say. When are we getting an update on the XMTW? I don't know. It's so fucking troll how they made... Didn't they, like, make the blog thing so they could provide more updates and communication? Then they did, like, one update and just ghosted it again. Endgame gear is very troll. Why do we not have a USB-C GPX? I saw, like, leaks for that. What's your opinion on Lamzu as a company in general? I, I, what do you... I don't know, man. I don't know too much about them. They're a Chinese company. I've only really ever talked to whoever's in charge of their Twitter. Um, I know that they've like, they operate out of a factory that produces mice for other 
um, companies, which is why they're able to like push it out so quickly. But yeah, I don't know uh, too much. The LOD definitely did feel um like higher than a thirty nine fifty sensor GT, but it didn't feel as bad as the OG Viper MIDI wire. Like I think they did make some adjustments, but I did hear that the sensor is having issue on glass pads, so I'm gonna have to uh, test that out. You think the new file mouse is going to take over or not? I mean, it has a potential to be a uh, another like kind of industry shaking mouse, but won't know until you get it in hand. XM three has been announced. Yeah, like the wired mouse. It, it's crazy. People gotta start asking Endgame Gear. Like whenever they post on social media, be like, "Hey, what happened to the uh, XM two W?" Like there's it, there's no way it takes that long to write firmware. Do you think Final Boy got the last laugh? What does that mean? <laughs> See the Joker? In what regard? Like with who? <laughs> that was just a crazy question. Worst mouse you've tried this year? Oof. I kind of just try to like block bad mice out of my memory. I don't know if- have I made just- oh wait. I'm trying to see like I feel like I've reviewed like one really shitty mouse at least this year. Erm. Um, Maybe like the Dharma Shark N3. It's one that kind of sticks out as terrible. But yeah, not too many. Least favorite LOD. I mean, I guess like any LOD that's going to be too high or too low is going to be pretty unplayable. But I would say like low to medium LOD on most companies' settings is pretty fine. Have you tried Overwatch at all? Um, I played it when it I played Overwatch two when it first came out, but the rank system was just so fucking boring and the game's just dreadful. So I don't really understand how people play it. Do you think Logitech can compete after not releasing a mouse for so long? Of course. I mean, I feel like the whole point of that is to blow away the competition when they finally do release it. But it's just like nobody knows what if or when that's gonna happen. Do you have a top 10 worst mice list? No, I don't. But I mean, that's definitely like a video idea. I could like go around and look at like mice I've reviewed and compile like 10 that were really shit. <laughs> Worth a switch to Ninjutsu Sora Final Mouse X? If so, what size? Um, probably like a smaller or medium size. And yeah, if you just want another like significant weight decrease, um, tech increase, could potentially be worth it. Um, if you're on a super budget, probably not though. Waiting for an M3 4K? Yeah, M3 4K and M3 Mini should be interesting. Thoughts on NPO1S? Um, basically solid in every way. I'm not having any of the uh, side flexing issues that people were mentioning, and it just practically checks every box. But I'm just readjusting to the shape, because after not using it for a while, um, it's just a pretty fucking unique one. But I'm really happy they made the uh, NPO1S before the NPO1 wired. Um, you heard Epic Games is considering making a mouse specifically for Fortnite per Fortnite Reddit. I did not hear about that. Is that actually true? New Pulsar mice when? No idea. I would presume they're going to do at least one launch in the summer, but I just don't have anything confirmed. Best wireless S2 clones? Really nothing um, is like a pure wireless S2 clone. Looks mid, not going to lie. The NPO1S? You're crazy. Vaxi hate is not going to be tolerated. Being a soldier remains worse than living in Guantanamo Bay. Yeah, I mean, it's just, I can, Overwatch can't seriously be fun. Current Fortnite meta is fun. Ranked isn't laggy anymore. Pump feels nice. You should try it out. Um, wait, they did put the pump back. I saw that. Um, I was fucking, I played like one game of no builds with this, uh, with a friend of mine. I saw that they had the pump. So that actually might be, might be worth coming back to Fortnite. Because they definitely, they pushed me away for a bit. But if they had to add the pump back out of desperation, um, might be the move. Yeah, I mean, Fortnite was my main game for, like, fucking four years. Is that true? Four years? Three years? Who's keeping count? Um, do you think mice like VG and Dragonfly's up in Pro Z1 can compete with top tier ones? Like on the same level level or better like no a fucking random chinese mouse is not going to be better than the best of the best from razor but like for the price it, they're insanely good hopefully that like makes sense out of it 
Fortnite's a good game to test mice. Yeah, people don't get it. People are always like, oh, Fortnite, like, it's just a shotgun game, but it's crazy. Um, will UX be significantly lighter? Is it new size? I mean, they have all of the info about it out already. It is the same sizes. They also have a large size, and it's going to be as light as 29 grams. Liking the stash, bro. Appreciate it. Best mouse for GeoGuessr? Um, I don't know. Whatever that fucking one guy uses. What's his name? Rainbolt? Probably a GPX. Um, thoughts on Overwatch 2? Just, just not fun. <laughs> like, when I tried it, it was just not an enjoyable game, so didn't bother with it too much. Fortnite no, no build needs the Kinetic Hammer back? Yeah, or the ODM. Like, the lack of movement in no build is crazy, you know? Get, try and play no build with girls, and I'm losing because I don't have fucking no build, mobility. It's like, ah. Oh. <laughs> How long did you take to grow your beard? It looks good on you. There were a few weeks of looking, like, pretty disheveled while it came in. And then I, like, didn't trim it up for a while, but, like, now I've finally got it into a uh, place where I'm happy. I don't know. I've probably been, um, like, just had it going for, like, two, three months now. What's that mouse with no shell? It's a prototype from uh, Optimum Tech. He made a video, like, making his perfect mouse, and this is essentially what it is. It's a fingertip grip mouse. Very unique shape. Um... Which is crazy, because it's like a bit bigger than I would expect for a fingertip grip mouse. I think the size is slightly smaller on the finalized version, but it like gives you an idea of how different people grip their mouse. Like when I fingertip, I like keep my fingers towards the top of the mouse, like kind of close together. But clearly, Optimum Tech, he like separates his fingers and has his pinky towards the back of the mouse. Um, so yeah, definitely I'm taking some adjusting to. Since we're here, do you recommend 4K for the average user? I feel a difference on 240, but people say it takes a toll on average PCs. Um, I mean, if you're, if you have, like, good tech that can push the polling without noticeably worse performance in game, then yeah, use it. Um, but it is, it does vary use case to use case, and all of, like, the people I know who, like, actually play pro Fortnite don't use 4K, um, especially in, like, tournament settings. Also, I just realized my, um, camera froze up again. I wonder how long it's been frozen. Probably not too long. Um... But yeah, like you just, Fortnite's a game where running 4K is just like practically, 4K or 8K is practically impossible, like actually in game without some type of issues. <laughs> Beard Z Fest, true, I gotta give away beard care products. They added Shockwaves, so some mobility? Yeah, like I've been playing it a little bit, um, but it just definitely doesn't compare to last season mobility, but the Spaz seems pretty fun. You look like if Aiden Ross and Andrew Tate had a baby. Did you comment that somewhere else? Because I remember seeing that comment. And then I looked at, there was, like, this clip of both of them, and I was like, fuck, why is this, like, kind of true? Um, but, yeah, I appreciate that comment for the second time, potentially. Would you twirl the ends of your mustache? I did earlier, um, but it kind of, like, I think I, like, laid down, and then it got fucked up, and I forgot to do it before my stream. But I have this, um, this mustache wax here. It's gonna look crazy at Board Z Fest. That's why I've been, that's why I've been growing out this mustache for so long. <laughs> last impressions on the cobra um i mean i don't know i don't i've only been using it for around the for around a day so i don't have too many like comprehensive thoughts yeah i did comment that i, I appreciate the comment normally when people tell me i look like someone i'm like i don't even know this person but that one was like i just had to give it a good look some honest consideration um should i order viper cobra npl1s or stormbreaker oof of those three mice i would I'd probably say NPO1S, depending on your shape preferences, but, um, yeah, probably not the Cobra, and then Stormbreaker just depends if you want a Magnesium Ergo. I've come to a conclusion that Fortnite pros don't really enjoy tech that much to research better peripherals. You'd be surprised. Um, like, I've actually, like, there have been so many Fortnite pros in my DMs, like, asking for, like, mouse and mouse pad advice specifically, like, I don't know if you know SETI, but he was asking about, like, 4K hertz and that stuff, like, really early on. So there are a few um, that actually care about tech. And you'd be, like, I don't know, a lot of, it seems like artisans have kind of blown up in Fortnite, which is based. Kind of discouraging to use them as examples? I mean, I don't know, I've had a lot of people from, like, different regions, like, reach out to me, though. 
what food options for Boards E Fest. Uh, this time around, prob I'm not even going to bother promising food. Last time I said there was going to be Domino's, and I just forgot about it, and it was like... There were going to be like fucking four pizzas. People would have taken that in a millisecond. So I just don't know how food's going to work. There will be some snacks and water, though. Yo, said he is goaded? Yeah, that's why he's winning, because of the mouse advice. I still can't figure out which artisans to get. Zero and Hien. Just get both of them. Get an X soft zero, a soft Hien. If you really just want the most basic, like, you get an artisan, just figure out what you like, get the best mouse pads, and then be done with it, just get a zero and a Hien. Is the Cobra really just literally the Viper Mini shape-wise? Essentially. I mean, the Viper Mini does feel like, at least to me, like it flares out a bit more, but you can see it and it's like pretty damn near identical. They do have the uh, little grips on the side, which might make it appear a little bit thicker, and the uh, wired Cobra feels a bit thinner and more like similar in terms of side curvature. But yeah, very little difference between these two mice in the hand. Hmm, I don't think I'll be able to grip that optimum tech mouse properly. Yeah, it really depends on the type of fingertip grip you use. But, I mean, I've been trying to adjust. I don't know if, like, holding it to the side would help, maybe. Is that optimum mouse? It is indeed. Can we get halal food on the fest? I, I don't know how that would work. You can bring halal food and eat it there probably the best way to look at it they did the community dirty hopefully they will be able to uh, redeem themselves by making a boardsy edition i think tomorrow in my video i'm gonna I'm gonna like drop that idea and everybody should be like yeah make a boardsy edition in the comments i think i think that's like a foolproof plan not gonna lie the artist in normal hayate is growing on me it's good pad for tac fps it's not even produced anymore though so it's like what's the point of it like it's been out of stock on their website for years now Best mouse and mouse pad to go pro. Um, I don't know. I feel like uh, just like some top tier mouse and a uh, artisan pad you can't go wrong with. But I don't think there's just a firm answer. F? What happened? I thought the stream died. Oh, no. This guy just said, broke my pulsar X too many. Can I get an F? Okay. Unfortunate, man. Oh, loaf. Broke your X2 Mini. Was it a Boardsy edition? How'd you break it? Any know, anybody know what that red and white thing is on the Viper Mini? It's called So Spacer Grips. I actually made a uh, video on them. So you can just type in like So Spacer on YouTube and my video will pop up. They're pretty interesting. Uh, they're definitely not a must have, but yeah, if you want to keep your fingers locked on the mouse, like add an interesting like grip feeling, nothing's wrong with it. Should I use Motion Sync for Pulsar X2? Yes. No webcam or cam. You're not, not going to troll me this time around. Too sharp. Maybe curl your index and middle finger for optimum mouse. What do you mean? What would that do? I'm already, like, clicking towards the bottom of the clicks. Got a tad bit angry. Gotcha. Yeah, it's one thing, like, you know, Zowie, Vaxi Mouse, you can throw that at the wall and there's going to be no problems. You know, little Pulsar, Lamzu Mouse, can you really do the same? How many mice do you own now? I don't know, it's just too hard to keep count. It has to be north of 150 at this point. But I've just given away so many that it's like, probably have owned over 300 mice. I like the so spacer grips on the side for fingertip grip. I couldn't really figure out a comfortable position on the right side. Is the Viper Mini wired discontinued? Yeah, it's been replaced by the uh, Cobra, which is really just a Viper Mini wired with a new name and ever so like slightly updated features, but even the same sensor. What is the name of the skeleton mouse? This one is from Optimum Tech, but I've also tried another like idea that was pretty similar in the past, but it was with a, a wired Zoom Koenig PCB. And uh, yeah, I made a video on this one and I will be covering the Optimum one pretty soon. Try holding the mouse with only two fingers. 
Definitely doable. I should, like, do a Kovacs run with only two fingers. Is owning six mice a problem? If six mice is a problem, you should see, like, fucking... For, like, that times 30. This is actually interesting. I didn't even think about how you could grip this mouse with two fingers and, like, unironically use it. What do you guys think I could get on Jumbo Towel Frenzy with this? Um, LOD good on the Cobra? The wireless one, of course. The wired one, um, I haven't done... Like, it definitely feels a little bit high, but I haven't done a ton of testing. But I heard there might be some uh, compatibility issues with glass pads, which I have to test. Can you do Kovacs now? I could do it to end off the stream, but I'm uh, I'm not going to end the stream yet. Holy shit. Three, 300 viewers, 75 minutes into the mouse discussion stream? Appreciate all about the uh, support. Why don't people talk more about paracord cables for charging? Um, because they're literally worse, and paracords are scarce and expensive at this point. So <laughs> there's basically no reason to use them. Um, paracords have so much less shielding than standard cables, so... It's literally like more of a hazard for charging and so what's the point unless you're going to be gaming with it um yo what's up christopher anderson boardsy stop sucking d bro tell razor to drop the new viper mini 4k do you think i have the power to do that um if i did I would have, but I'm just going to beg them to do a boardsy edition with me, where I would do something like that. The Cobra will get weight reduction to mid-50, same sensors like the SE, is it 4K? It is 4K already, but I don't see them doing a revamp, especially since I saw this uh, tweet that basically confirmed that they're uh, not doing anything else. Fuck. I don't know who made the tweet. Gemini Caster Pro a good choice? Not really, man. Um, I was really unimpressed with the Vancer Pro models. Okay, yeah. Here is uh, here is the tweet I was talking about. Oh, wait, no. God, I'm fucking so dumb. It was from Razer saying, no plans to release any more mice with this shape. So, uh, yeah. I mean, having a paracord cable you use when it runs out of battery in game, do you ever have this issue? No, I just, just <laughs> use them. I mean, how long do you really have to charge a mouse to get it to have enough percent to use it for the rest of a session? Like 10, 15 minutes? Just like, you can use it wired in the scenario that it dies in game. But really, all mice nowadays, they blink red when they're at like 15, 20%. So there's no way you can't just like put the mouse down, charge it normally, and then be good. So you like paracords, like... I don't think it's worth paying like $25, $30 for a USB-C cable for the five minutes every month you might have to use a mouse. Um, don't see any sense on why they would waste that many sales. I mean, I, yeah, I don't get it either. It seems like it's either the loudest like vocal minority ever, or they're just actually trolling and refusing to make a mouse people want. It's like they have the power to do something that will be their best seller, but they avoid it. I don't know. Every time people say that, apparently the fucking corporate financial analysts know better than the mouse enthusiasts, which I, I wholeheartedly don't agree with, um, which is why they should do the boardsy edition. Razor, if you're watching this, you know my email, though you've been ghosting me. That's besides the point. Um, what games have you been playing? Um, Kovacs, Valorant, and Fortnite. Just the trifecta. <laughs> That's it. I'm putting a Viper V2 Pro PCB in my Viper Mini. I've seen people do that, which makes it all the funnier that, like, they won't just straight up release one. <laughs> What's crazy is that they really think casuals wouldn't buy a Viper Mini Pro if they didn't make it the Cobra. I mean, maybe they wouldn't. They said on Discord that retailers were not interested on a plastic Viper Mini. But they're okay with the standard Cobra? Maybe that's all that matters. The big in-store retailers. Which won't matter for the Boardsy Mouse because it doesn't need to be there. So, again, they just got to make this collab. 
I mean, and even if that is true, it's just kind of depressing that Razer has to put out, like, literally worse, inferior, step-back products to make in-store sales to the casual market that doesn't exist. Or the Cobra on Amazon was supposed to get it next day, and then it was delayed to today, and now it has no ETA, and they're asking if I want a refund. Are they pulling the product? No, I bet. Because um, something kind of weird happened. Like, when I ordered it, it said next day, and then I checked the shipping, and it said there was no estimate, but it did show up the next day. So I bet they just, um, they, like, understocked and oversold type shit. Viper V2 Pro is my main. I feel like it'll still be better in the Ultralight X. Um, I mean, yeah, nobody really knows what the medium's gonna weigh. Viper Ult V2 Pro is, like, a, it's a safe bet. What's your rank on Valorant? I haven't gotten ranked this season, unfortunately. I have been grinding the TDM, though. It's kind of, uh, kind of thrilling. Um, who's your main on Valve? Phoenix and Gecko Gaming. Thoughts on the new wooting switches? I didn't really look into that too much. Casuals bought the GPX because pros and streamers use it. A Viper Mini Pro could easily do the same. Yeah, it's so, it's weird. Like, retailers are okay with a Viper V2 Pro, a Death Adder V3 Pro, but supposedly not a Cobra Pro that follows the same design philosophy. I don't know, this isn't, uh, this isn't adding up to me. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna have to make a video, like, rounding up casual gamers and seeing if any of them prefer the weird razor mice, because maybe they do. You think Lamzu Blade X, you mean Wraith? I think I have those, like the, the mouse, like the kind of hard mouse pads, I had those, I, uh, tried them for a few minutes and then I was like, why would I use this over an Artisan Zero? But, it's just kind of how every mouse pad is for me at this point. Show us your best owner deathmatch clip. We have to start including them in videos. Damn glorious missed opportunity to smack Razor in the ass with the Series 1 Pro. I mean, they still have the... They still have a chance. Like, they could, theoretically, still put out the Series 1 Pro. Which, I'm not gonna lie, that was like under 50 grams, pretty much a Viper Mini shape. If they throw in the right sensor, and actually have like good tech, good build quality, which is not a given for glorious... Like, they easily fucking win that market. Are you a Swift Play enjoyer? Yeah, I just love the love the aspect of Swift Play baddies. <laughs> I just don't understand where they got the 77 grams from. Yeah, and it's not even like it's a 77 grams that feels good. Like, it feels back heavy. It just doesn't feel, like, great moving the mouse around. Shit is crazy. No chance of checking out the Endgame Gear. I mean, there's obviously a chance, but um, Endgame Gear said they were going to send me one. I don't think they've gone around to doing it. I mean, I'm just not going not gonna to beg them to do it, I guess. But, I mean, if it's actually, like, a unique weave, that's obviously interesting, but there's just so little actual, like, innovation and creativity in mouse pads, which is kind of what, uh, what makes it ZZZ. My MP01S feels a little back heavy for my liking. See, and like to me, I don't even. Like, even when fingertip gripping it, I don't feel it like shaking around in the back. Meanwhile, the. Uh, like the Cobra. You think the MP01S is back heavy? I think you'll have many more issues with this. But yeah, that's interesting. I thought the balancing was like pretty solid. Do a quick showcase for Vancer Caster Gemini. I don't know where those boxes are, man. I'm sorry. But yeah, you can just wait till tomorrow. It's unfortunate that they lied about the polling rate on those mice and that they just kind of suck. Um, any rumors on the Endgame Gear OP1? I don't know too much about it. Do you know when the GSRC Black comes out this summer? No idea. I didn't even know they were doing that. Yo, Fatal Error. I did not see your first comment, so you should uh, resend it. <laughs> Fuck. 
Just got the EMC a few minutes ago. Not bad so far. Is it like interesting though? Is it the same weave as any other pad? Can you review the Fnatic Jet? I'm gonna include it in a mouse pad roundup. But I don't think it's a very like serious mouse pad. Um, like, it's a very smooth, like fast surface, low friction not a lot of stopping power necessarily like i really doubt anybody who reviewed it is like still using it i just it's pad that gives me those vibes how big is that cobra though pretty much exactly the same size as the uh, viper like standard viper mini can you show the optimum tech mouse yeah in a second um will you make a video on it of course i will yeah he sent it to me to get some feedback and for me to like make a video and see what people think about it basically what do you think is the most aesthetically pleasing mouse to look at? That's a good question. Um, there was like, there are probably a few Starlight designs that I actually like really like a lot, but on my desk right now, probably Faker Death Adder or just this uh, yellow MP01S. <laughs> Where's your inclusive mouse? Underrated hit of the year. True. I actually know where the box is for that one, unlike uh, a lot of these mice. Vance Rice versus Fnatic Jet, if you had to choose. Ooh, maybe the Fnatic Jet? I don't know. It would be. It would really be a toss-up. I feel like I'd perform the same on both of those pads, which is, like, worse than I am on a pad that I like. Um, this 4K doesn't bode well with the G-Sync. Much smoother turning off G-Sync. That's interesting. The Starlights look good as fuck? Yeah, something I never understood was all of the hate on the Starlight designs. I swear, every release, people, like, hate it on the colorways. I'm like, am I tripping? Like, this doesn't even look bad. Especially the Phantom. So many people hated the way the Phantom looked. I'd say Death Air Wired looks really premium. It does, but it just kind of looks like a basic now. So, I want to say it's, like, the most pleasing looking. I would have bought the Cobra Wired if they updated the sensor. Yeah, it seems like they dropped the ball with that as well. Um... Like, the, they have the Death Adder V3 8K wired. Why can't they just make a Cobra 8K wired? Like, they had the Viper 8K years ago, and then they're releasing this mouse with worse tech than that. It's just, there's so much shit that doesn't add up to me. I feel like you'd have to do a ton of, like, mental gymnastics to try to rationalize it. It's very Saturn-like. Most crazy pad I've tried is the Core Neutron pad. Interesting, I have not heard too much about those. Final Mouse has to be the most interesting mouse company design-wise. There, you can't say that Final Mouse is basic. That is one thing you gotta give them. Need to order in mouse feet, not sure what to get. Glass or PTFE? I'd say PTFE. I was actually gonna make a video um, about Glass versus PTFE after literally months of using the Glass Gates on the Viper Mini Sig. Basically saying that I just think PTFE is a better bet. Is the Cobra sensor same as the Vichy Pro? It is. And it's compatible with... Fuck. It's compatible with the Mouse Dock Pro and the Hyper Pulling Dongle to get 4K, but out of the box it does come 1K. Lamzu 4K versus Jewel's 4K? It's... I mean, Jewel's 4K is just so much more expensive, and, like, what about Jewel's mice really justifies that price tag when Lamzu 4K is the price it's at, you know? They basically just re release the Viper Mini with a different look. Exactly, man. Maybe Racer are debating us? True. Who really knows, though? Before my Twitter crash, Fiend said something about Viper Mini Special Edition catering to enthusiasts, and they listen. Why aren't they making it commercial? What do you mean? Like, I think that was, like, their idea of, like, giving a mouse to the community, but there was still, like, just the fact that it was $280. Um, kind of turn some people off. I haven't found that glass wears down mouse pads. Like, I just really don't... I don't get that. But I also don't only use one mouse pad, so maybe, like, I'm just wearing down my pads gradually. What's up, Dusk Falcon? Neutron uses static electricity for extra control? That seems interesting. Stormbreaker with glass feet on neutron pad is killer for me. The Stormbreaker glass feet are kind of shit in my experience. Um, they get like hum like muddy and like high sense of humidity pretty quick. Is there a big difference between the wireless Cobra and the Viper V2 Pro? Yeah, the fact that the wireless Cobra is just like a worse mouse. 
Um, it's almost 20 grams heavier. It has like the side grips from before. It's the same in terms of tech, obviously. It has Bluetooth, has RGB, but it's like, do these features fucking matter? Or do you just want the uh, mouse that's focused on performance? And has been out for over a year. Um, hey man, I just found your channel. Can you recommend me an affordable mouse for gaming? I would recommend like watching my tier list for an overall, like, just a uh, view of the market. You'll get an idea of a lot of mice, but it depends if you want wired or wireless. Wired, I would say Razer Death Adder V3 8K. It's the best, like, cheap wired mouse. <laughs> but yeah, the Cobra, the standard size Cobra is definitely going to be a wired mouse recommendation. Um, as much as I, like, don't want to love the Cobra mice, standard one's just a Viper Mini. Don't you think that the Cobra is for everyone but the enthusiast? I mean, yeah, it's, it's like, it gives me Viper Ultimate vibes, kind of like a mix between the Basilisk V3 and the Viper Ultimate, but I still don't, I still don't see why somebody would love this mouse and hate the Viper V2 Pro. I mean, it's like, sure, I guess they do... You have the ability to spend seventy dollars to put the mouse on a dock instead of having to charge it every now and then. But I feel like it's most of a letdown for enthusiasts. You're right about the glass on the Stormbreaker, but for some reason it works really well on the neutron pad, gotcha. I was got I was in your Discord and got bullied because I was using class baskets and was complaining it was wearing down my mouse pad. That's funny. Thank God you're live. I have a question. What should I use to clean my Super Glide mouse pad? Um, like Windex, any type of glass cleaner, really. You can even use like a fucking Clorox wipe. You can just use water. Like, <laughs> it's more of a question of what can't you use? Maybe like some acidic chemicals. Besides software, it's the biggest flaw on VGN F1. It wasn't like the right click quality on my unit. I can barely remember. There was nothing like glaring though. That was terrible. Um, maybe a stock skates, but I think I fixed those. Grip tape or no grip tape just depends on the mouse's coating. Uh, if a mouse has a good coating and I just feel comfortable with it out of the box, there's really no reason to put on grip tape. Some people like putting grip tape on everything, but I'd say it just comes down to like what you need. What's the story behind your profile pic? Um, it's my, it was my former hedgehog. Um, and then when she died, one of my uh, subscribers put like a little angel like halo on her. So I just, it's kind of been my profile pic for years. I don't know like what I would change it to. Glass is really easy to maintain, exactly. Have you made a review on any 3D printed mice? I've made so many. Like I've probably tried like 10 3D printed mice at this point for like years now. I've seen them get slightly better over time, but they're still, like, they're just not it. I'm sorry, nobody, like, very few people, nobody in the world can make the argument that 3D printed mice are built better than ABS injection molded plastic. So I think that right there, it's just like, why are you going to pay a premium for something 3D printed, unless it's, like, really light and put well together. Um... Are you being serious? Because I heard it will remove a coat. A coat of what? It's not like a coated glass pad. It's like there's a coating that's wearing off. Where's he's replaced Rocket Jump Ninja for me in the YouTube space? I mean, Rocket Jump Ninja kind of fell off the mouse reviewing grind set, so it's an honor to hear that. <laughs> it's the heaviest mouse you used, Grams? Um, currently on the desk right now, it is the uh, Cobra Pro at 77. But some of the Zowie mice are in the higher 70s, so I would say those. I really haven't used anything like over 80 grams in a while, I don't think. Um, what makes Death Hour V3 your main over the Pulsar X2? Just curious. Um, really just like the stability and comfort of the size and the tech is like slightly better than Pulsar. But I really like the X2 Mini. Um, it's like just a totally different shape, so like some days I'll prefer something like that. Thunderbolt ML9 is better value than the Cobra. I heard the uh, ML9, like the software is legit malware. Um, so that's, that kind of sussed me out. And I saw like actual proof of it. So I would be, um, I would not download the software on that mouse. I actually haven't even opened it up for that reason. It's like figure one of those Chinese mice would try to do that eventually, but. Did Pulsar let you give more input than just the design for the boardsy mouse? Yeah, I told them that I wanted to improve the clicks and the coding, so all of that happened. They basically sent me out 
tons of units with different mechanical switches, and I settled on the Huano Blue Shell Pink Dots, which I think were the uh, best implementation in that mouse, and they improved the coding as well. So yeah, I just made the mouse better, and that's kind of the formula that they've been using for the uh, other special editions, which is kind of cool. Zowie EC Wireless is lighter than the Cobra Pro? Like, yeah, can somebody explain that to me? Like, realistically, what even makes this mouse heavy? Like, there's RGB strips, there's probably, like, a bigger battery. But, like, what is accounting for almost 20 grams between this and the uh, Viper V2 Pro? Any finger workouts you recommend for picking up heavier mice? Um, yeah, if get, like, a 30-pound dumbbell and just do, like, single finger curls. Do you even use your own mice? Um, yeah, I still use the X2s. I would not say it's really like, it's not like my completely own mouse. Um, any thoughts on NYC cracking down on pizzerias about brick ovens? Was that, it seems like that was blown out of, like, did that even happen? Or was it like something was put in effect, like, to do that? Like, I'm really not concerned. Like, I know a lot of pizza places that will, they'll die before the uh, brick ovens get taken away. RGB is 30 grams minimum. True, it's actually a weight reduction when you account for the fact that RGB is adding 30 grams. Rubber sides were like 7 grams on the Viper Ultimate? True, good calm. See, like, isn't that just like, wow, that's insane. Wireless charging tech, probably? I Yeah, I thought the bulk of that was just like in the uh, actual, like the, the puck. But yeah, I forgot about the rubber sides. Those are probably the uh, significant chunk of weight. Do you like Joe's Pizza? I know like 20 Joe's Pizzas. Are you talking about the one in the city? I think that's like, it's kind of like just too popular. Luigi's Pizza on 20th Street is the best pizza in Brooklyn, and I'll die on that hill. Man, I can't believe I'm actually going to have to buy a Viper Mini SE, bro. See, that might be what they want you to think. And then after a new ba another few batches of Viper Mini Signature Edition sales, then they actually release the mouse people want. Razor's always 20 steps ahead. Do you know if you'll be getting review units for the ULX? I should be. But I really have no idea when. Um, have you changed stock view on your Death Hour V3 Pro? Um, yeah, the thing is for me, I just um, use them until they wear out, basically. And I was using them on glass pads a lot, so I just got some Tiger Ice when they eventually wore out. So basically, it's the Razer Viper Ultimate and Viper Mini size. Yeah, practically. Um, that's really the best way to look at it, which is not a... It's a pretty underwhelming experience. That was a false positive? Okay. I mean, because I've seen, like... I've seen some other softwares get flagged, but that one seemed uh, seemed like there was more to it. Is my dog chewing on an ice cube? I hope, or else he's chewing on something bad. Um, you are literally the only existing master reviewer on YouTube. Everyone stopped doing it. That's not true. There's a few others, but um, I would I agree. Like people like Bad Seed Tech, Brandon Taylor, Rocket Jump Ninja, like guys who are reviewing like practically every l release a few years ago, um, have kind of stopped doing master reviews. But like fresh reviews. House Gaming, um, Aim Adapt, fucking, there are a lot of people out there reviewing practically every re release. <laughs> Mustache Shave when? After Boardsy Fest. Um, so for Boardsy Fest, I just want to have it, like, fucking twirled and waxed, basically. Just to have, like, a crazy look, and then I'm gonna be done with the facial hair arc. So, just one more week of the mustache. The Techni? Yeah, Techni's still reviewing mice, that's true. I mean, even Techni, I don't know if he's uh, covering the more niche options as much anymore. I'm trying to think. Like, did yeah, he did review the Stormbreaker. I mean, I guess he is. Uh, did you ever re review the M800? No, I think MechKeys is going to send me the M800 3395, though. Diamond Lobby reviews, too? True. He, um, like, his content, for some reason, never gets recommended to me. Like, I'm... S I'll, I'll, like, try to watch his videos, but I have to, like, search them up on YouTube. Maybe he's getting, like, fucked by the algorithm. Even though it doesn't seem like that. It seems like his videos get pushed by the algorithm. But, yeah, um, forgot about Diamond. Fresh Reviews? Omega Law? Fresh Reviews has a lot of haters. But you can't doubt the fact that he is reviewing the majority of mice. And IMs, which I don't get. I don't understand how, um, people can really do IEM reviews or like be invested in IEMs, but God bless them. 
Yo, thanks for keeping company whilst I clean. Happy to hear. Um, can we get a petition for bald cut for 500k subs? I don't think I'd do that. I just, like, I don't want to go bald. Like, people always do that as, like, an incentive. And I'm just like, really? <laughs> French-style mustache? Yeah, I don't know what the style I'm going for is called. It's unfortunate, though. I should have, like, if I planned it a month or two, like, even more in advance, I could have, mustache would have been a lot thicker. Would the optimum tech mouse fit? Where the fuck did I put the optimum tech mouse? Wait, what the hell? It actually just, like, keeps disappearing on my mouse head. Would it fit 6mm super glide dots? I don't know. Um, you can see the dots on it now, um, and imagine. So, potentially... Do you think Rocket fell off with their mice? Kind of. They seem to not really care about mice anymore. Like, what's the last thing they released? The Burst Pro Air? No. It was, uh, the Cone Pro Air? Keyboard reviews, by the way. What keyboard do you want me to review? Because I, I'm mainly into, like, gaming keyboards, and... I feel like I've reviewed all of the top stuff, like, top options for those. Give you my cat for a mouse. Sounds like a deal, potentially. French Reviews does IM reviews? I know, that's what I'm saying. Like, he does IM reviews as well. I just don't under... Like, I couldn't... I could not, like, review the entire market worth of IMs the way I can mice. But obviously he can. How are you liking a Cobra Pro so far? I mean, not very much. It's definitely not a mouse that was made for me. Um, which is probably why Razer didn't send me one. But it just feels like a um, Viper Ultimate with a Viper Mini shape with kind of the basilisk features 77 grams it's just like kind of unpleasant as a creator how do you feel basically repeating um most of the things on most videos i like keywords that they feel the same do you feel like that for mice kind of like it's definitely a reason like i could make a lot more content in a sense but it would just be like kind of repackaging and like rephrasing things just like with a different video idea so i kind of just don't do that because it's not like i try to just like i enjoy like keeping stuff fresh in a sense hopefully that makes sense but yeah with keyboards i feel like it would be even more the same than a mouse burst pro air 80 plus grams yeah i don't understand why companies go backwards First time watching your stream, and it's very relaxing. I'm happy to hear that. Yeah, a lot of people, um, they watch my videos and they don't know that I stream. Like, I don't do it on here all the time. Have you seen the new Drunk Deer A75 Hall Effect keyboard? I've heard of it. Um, I also heard of the Zen Aim keyboard, like the Japanese one. Um, yeah, so there are some, like, more Hall Effect, like, keyboards, but are they better than Wooting? I should definitely still give them coverage, just have something new on the desk, but yeah, I don't know, man. Do you dislike IEMs? If so, is it because of performance compared to headphones? No, it's actually because of just like, I, I've just never been able to get comfortable with them in terms of like the physical feeling or just like the sound as well. But Razer, funny enough, sent me out a review unit of the Morays, which I know I've been getting pretty hard shit on, but I'm gonna try those out. That'll be like my third IEM, see if maybe I'll be able to stick to it this time around. Yeah, Rainy, that is, um, I mean, that's definitely kind of a way it goes, but I'm lucky enough that I'm, I just don't feel like I need to force stuff out right now. Dude, I should be posting more mouse content on TikTok, though. The fucking new TikTok program is crazy. Drunk Deer, amazing name, IMO, I agree. It's Japanese, so it has to be better, you know the way. Yeah, but it's hard to get, so it's like, fuck, maybe... Still worth paying for the Japanese effect. Drunk Deer is only 105. That's actually pretty good for 75%. What's faster, Skypad or Super Glide? They're practically the same, man. I, I don't know. Maybe Skypad? Um, heard Cobra Pro 77 grams feels more heavy than Viper Ultimate, which is also 77. Um, yeah, I mean, the weight distribution definitely is bad on the Cobra. I thought the Viper Ultimate was 74. You can see, like, when I try to grip it towards the middle, maybe, like, slightly towards the front, it's pretty, like, it t tips towards the back, and yeah, it's just a sign. Razer IMs are memes, but like I heard they were made to be comfortable, which was like one of my issues. So maybe they'll be good in that aspect. What's the word on new G Pro? I'm I'm just like not seeing it, or I'm not believing it till I see it. I don't mind the Marais, just don't like the asking price. Got it. What are your opinions on the Pungent Stormbreaker? I'm gonna have a review out on it next, like this week, basically. Um, definitely grew on me since like my first impressions and putting more time on it but i still don't think it's a uh, 
like elite of the elite ergo. For viewing my student, bring in as much views to a point you can't keep this as your job. Would you shift your editorial line or just get a job and make the videos as a hobby? Um, that's that's a good question. You know, I'm a I'm a kind of like cross that bridge when I get there type of person. And things are going well now, so just keep striking the iron while it's hot. <laughs> How's the NPO one S wireless treating you? Um, pretty well. I don't have any of the uh, click or creaking or build quality issues. All of my buttons feel solid. Um, feels slightly improved just in the hand compared to the OG version, but I'm just adjusting to the shape and I'm testing like multiple mice, so it's just take a while, little bit to review it. What's that shape? Is it legit just a Viper Ultimate? Pretty much, man. Like, it's ever so slightly altered, but if you've used a Viper, or a Viper Mini, it is, um, it's, you're not going to have any issues adjusting to it in the hand. Get your glass head wet and it feels nicer. Yeah, you gotta constantly be like swiping your mouse in a puddle razor i am review bad very intelligent thought have you received any new news on pulsar's releases soon no i have not i'm hoping they come this summer though uh jules 4k firmware updates bug did you find a workaround now are you gonna start wearing mice on a chain like me i might have to tech wear for real <laughs> Does Razer Cobra Wired have same LOD issues? I mean, it seems to be a bit high LOD, but they've definitely tuned up the sensor a little bit compared to the OG version, but I've heard there are some issues on glass pads, so whenever I make my video, I will have a uh, solid answer for you on that one. <laughs> Thoughts on Daru brand? They've, like, every time I've seen their products, they haven't been good, but maybe they have some uh, hidden gems in there somewhere. Yeah, swipe your mouse in a puddle. It's nicer. Let's go. Have you heard of Omron 6 GMs? Yeah, they were in a... Uh, fuck, what's that company who put out the GM41? An MSI mouse. Um, I've only tried them in those, and they weren't too good. I feel like that was just a switch from Omron that didn't really uh, catch on. Is your NPL1S completely solid? I already are made mine. Yeah, and this is just a uh, retail unit. They sent me a unit, but it hasn't arrived yet. Um, I just bought one on launch, and it's perfectly fine. What color did you get? I'm pretty interested. Can you compare Viper Mini, Lambsu Mini size and shape? Um, I do in my Lambsu Mini review if you want to check that out. But yeah, stay tuned for the uh, Cobra video. I'll do the same. I feel like there's a question of whether to buy an X2 now or wait for an X3. I mean, if you want higher polling rate, just like a fresher mouse, probably just wait, especially if you're already happy with your uh, current mouse. How to spin a mouse tutorial? It's actually funny how much I get asked this. Like, hold on, this is a mouse that's actually not very spinny. Let's see, Fuck, we need something that's going to spin. Maybe we just do the Cobra. It's a heavy mouse, so you guys will have an easier time than me. Okay, so you got to start off. Pinky and ring finger on the right side. That's really all you need. You don't even need the two top fingers on the top, but you can for stability. And then you just kind of, like, flick it off your thumb. Like, you, you see that? Just, like, throw it in and flick it off. It is one simple motion, and that's how you spin your mouse. What do you think about the HS AJ199? Um, shitty clicks, not the best weight balancing, uh, not the best scroll wheel either. Just kind of feels like a low quality, like cheaper mouse, um, which is like not the norm for the uh, Chinese mice I've been testing. But I don't know why the mouse is like hyped so much. I guess like because of the shape, but I just like, I definitely had a few problems with it. You seen my fidget spinner mouse? True, that's even crazier. Razer Mouse Pro Dock worth it? I mean, do you have a mouse compatible with it? Do you have a Cobra or a Basilisk V3 Pro? I mean, if so, those are the only options. And to get 4K and, like, the wireless charging feature, maybe? But I'm not going to go out there and say you should spend, like, half the price of the mouse on an accessory. Um, because maybe that's where they're making money on the mouse. Maybe they couldn't do that with a standard uh, plastic Viper. You play Valorant a bit. I'm not ranked this season, but um, been playing some like Swift playing TDMs. What's the best performing mouse? Um, like Razer's top of the line wireless. Do you think Bearded ba Bob will save the Razer Cobra? I bet he could. OMG! I can spin a mouse now. Let's go. My 199 clicks were really nice. I mean, they're I can feel that they have the potential to be like pretty light and crisp, but on my unit they were like super creaky and just low quality. So they also have the pot potential to be that. 
But yeah, that was a mouse where I was like out of the box. I was like, whoa, this thing's crazy. And then I, the more I use it, I'm like, okay, this is uh, not as crazy as I thought. Instructions unclear, broke my super glad trying to spin the mouse. Rip. AJ139, that's a possibility. How's HTX compare to Lambsy Mini and Viper Mini? It just, it's a lot flatter of a mouse. Like, there's really no back hump. So if you, uh, yeah, you say you clog her with smaller hands, even then, I just don't think the profile of the HTX is as good, but some people like it for an aggressive claw. Um, Atlantis OG V2 Pro 4K or XM2 Wii. I mean, I feel like there's a big price difference. So if you want the cheaper and just stronger built mouse, go with the XM2 Wii. But anything else, I would say Atlantis. Viper Ultimate's kind of dying, which I upgrade to. I would say Viper VG Pro, but the Cobra Pro just dropped, which is very similar to the uh, Viper Ultimate in terms of, like, feature set. So it's up to you. <coughs> I was spinning it all wrong. Thank you so much. I'm happy that you got the uh, spinning form down. ZX2 with Wano is better than the old one with Kales. Is it feeling much different? In my opinion, yeah. That's, um... When I did the collab with the mouse, I wanted to improve the clicks, so they sent out tons of units, I was able to test them all out, and I settled on Juanos because I thought it was the best click imp implementation in the shell, and on all of the units since then, they've been using Juanos switches, so it seems like they're pretty satisfied with them as well. We need a company to artisan all of these mice? See, the thing is, like, artisan had been around forever, and it just took a while for companies to catch up to them, so it's like, I don't know, that would be like a 10-year project for the mouse soon. Still waiting on my VG and Dragonfly MOBA. Isn't the MOBA, like, just the version with Juanos? I don't know why they call it the MOBA. Like, that would turn me off from a mouse, just thinking it's, like, not an FPS mouse. Sup, am I late or very late? You're late. Um, edging on very late. Damn, I've been almost live for two hours already? What the flip? Yeah, I just need to title the stream, like, with a relevant mouse name, and the people will stop by. <laughs> Why do you think companies keep raising their prices? Viper is 80 bucks with a dock and arch. Whoa, well, um, that it also wasn't 80 bucks. It was 150. So the V2 Pro was also 150. So I think you just had the price wrong to start. Like that, the Viper was 80 bucks because of the V2 Pro's release that put it on a massive sale. So yes, but yeah, in general, prices are increasing because. Um, wireless tech is more expensive, inflation, and greed. Model O wired is still taken. What does that mean? Like, as a partner, it's taken? When does the super late HTS 8K mouse from Jules? I don't know. Apparently, Jules has a 26 gram plastic mouse, which seems interesting. Um, have you made the XM2 Wii? I used it for a good bit when they sent it out. It's definitely good for sweaty hands. Um, I just got mine today wondering how long the coating will wear off. <laughs> coating won't wear off, man. My hero MOBA, I think of a mouse that has 16 buttons on the side? Exactly. And apparently the MOBA is just the same exact mouse as the normal VGNs, just with a, uh, like, Quano switches instead. They also made some minor improvements. Best Dragonfly I get? Gotcha. I think Razor Rep said there won't be another Viper Mini shape. Yeah, I heard that as well, which is just so dumb. This guy just asked it again. Model O wired is still taken. Man, I, I don't know what that means. I'm good at interpreting these questions, but Model O wired is still taken? I don't fucking know. Beats me. Uh, are there any light mice with left and scroll... Left and right scroll wheels? Um, light mice now. Just got like a G502 light speed or something. Which is the yellow mouse? It's the Vaxi NPO1S wireless. Um, very interesting. Shape, uh, been out for a while, but they just released the wireless version and everything solid on my unit. Have you tried the latest Lambsy mouse? Yeah, I reviewed it um, a few weeks ago, so you can check that out. Are you testing Optimum Tech's custom mouse? Yeah, I'll have a video on this one out as well. So much exciting stuff in the mouse game. So, so very much. Sorry, Model O isn't single at the moment. Yeah, try again in a few years. Is the MOBA better than the Pro Max? Um, according to like someone who's tried it yes is it still taken hopefully i can take it do you know viscose um yeah i know when they used to like play kovacs like a few years ago um i'm using the lamzu atlantis v2 og with a skypad is it a good combo um yeah i mean nothing wrong with it skypad will definitely might take a bit to control it but those are top tier products 
do the rubber grips on Cobra, they're the exact same as the ones on the Viper Ultimate, to answer your question. Yeah, I see a vid. I've been off the internet for a while. I've been happy with mine since I think it's the best mid-tier mouse. Let's go. And yeah, Lamzu has some, uh, they have some new shit coming out as well. The Thorn, which is an Ergo mouse, and then the Maya, which is just like a different shape Ambi mouse. So Lamzu, um, they have some good stuff coming out. What mouse are you maining right now? I would say my main is the Death Adder V3 Pro, but as you can see, I have a fuck ton of mice on my desk that I'm testing, so I don't really have a main currently. Um, also, the Viper Mini Sig I put a lot of time on. What is your grip? I do fingertip and claw, depending on the mouse and, like, the situation, really. But I would say, like, my nat the first grip I ever did was, like, a fingertip grip, like, a relaxed fingertip. So that's just how I naturally grip a mouse. Razer isn't connected to their customers. The unfortunate thing is that, like, they really seem like they are, but they just, like, couldn't... Like, they just don't believe that the product would sell well enough, so they purposely didn't make it. Shit's very confusing. Except I'm going to pull for a boardsy unit for you guys, or a boardsy version. V3 Pro is so good, best mouse I've ever used. Yeah, I, a lot of people seem to feel that way. I've gotten some shit for recommending it, but I'm like, man, you guys just are dumb and fail to appreciate it. V3 Pro Faker specifically? True. Yeah, I hope they update the standard version with the coding. I miss those streams, man. They're legit so chill. Yeah, I mean, I should, I could definitely stream more often, but I definitely like doing it like once or twice a week because then there's just like, uh, like everybody can come in and just kind of see it's at a consistent time. Yeah, I definitely enjoy streaming a lot. Is the Cobra as small as the Viper Mini? Yeah, it's practically the same size. I use the Razor Straw as a mouse. Nice, man. Um. I wonder if Razor would make a reusable straw. Probably wouldn't put it past him. Can you suggest some mice if I currently use a model of wireless? A Viper Vici Pro, probably. Like, top recommendation that comes to mind. But, like, so much stuff. If you use Claw Grip, you could get Lambs of Atlantis. Like, man. Mouse Geeks Gathering Simulator. You get it, man. Seems like they just purposely misled as a way to handle bad Viper Mini Signature Edition PR in the moment. That's a very likely possibility as well. I mean, yeah, because people were like, okay, Viper Mini Signature is not for me. At least I can wait till the summer. But then the summer comes around and people are like, oof. When can I watch a Boardsy? Where can I watch Boardsy gameplay? Um, I still, at the end of this stream, I might do a little Kovacs run using two fingers. But I just sporadically put gameplay in my mouse reviews. I really don't put enough gameplay, though. It's just because I don't like, I'm not always recording on OBS Replay Buffer, which just fucks me over. Like, if I literally always had replay buffer on, there would be more gameplay in my videos. Razer made a $30 straw already? Oh my god. That's uh, so troll. Maybe I just saw it then, and then that's why I brought it up. It was just, like, in my memory bank. Does the Cobra feel like it's in a weird spot in the Razer lineup? Absolutely. It's like a, it's like an Ambi Basilisk, kind of like a modern Viper Ultimate. It's just, like, it's not what we've been used to for Razer, when they've kind of been, like, banger after banger. And then the Viper Mini Signature Edition... Which is an expensive banger, but still a banger nonetheless. And then they come out with this, and it's like, what the, what the flip? Boardsy dog cam. Can you guys hear my dogs like fighting in the background? Normally Rex comes up once a stream, but I guess he's not having. He's not fucking with me. Your dog wants to go outside. He's playing with his other. He's playing with his friend. They can go walk out on the deck. Yeah, I was gonna take him on a walk after the uh, stream. What's the headset? DT nine hundred Pro X. It's the nine nineties. Um, but I want to get the nine hundred Pros because I've dropped these a lot, but. They're still kicking it. When are you going to sell Boardsy merch? Like, actual, like, t-shirt, like, merchandise? I just don't, like, have any ideas. But X-Ray Pad is selling the uh, Boardsy Fest pad, which is kind of like a faux merch um, type of situation. Dog, look up the Razor Straw. Okay, is this, like, RGB? When the Thunderbolt ML903 review? Um, not in, like, the next week. So, I don't know. It's going to be after Boardsy Fest, which is probably going to be, like, close to mid-July. Wow, this reusable straw looks interesting. Is this worth? Jesus. This guy just spams the same question 20 times, and it's not going to get answered. That That is crazy spam. I'm not even going to lie. I just look back at my monitor. I'm like, is this real? Can you explain a situation where releasing the Cobra is a good idea? Um... When you have all of these corporate financial analysts being like, you got to put RGB on the mouse. And then Razor's like, okay. And then apparently, like, the retail partners are like, we won't take a plastic Viper Mini wireless. Which I don't even get. 
We can't see it? Oh, fuck. Yeah, I do have my um, hand cam up. Yeah, this is the uh, Razor Straw. Buy a Razor Straw and review it? Not a bad idea. Maybe they could send me a review unit. Yeah, that's actually funny. I want to send, I want to like craft an email being like, can you guys send out a review unit for the reusable straw? Yeah, that, that's on my uh, to-do list. How's your weekend going, Boardsy? It's good. I mean, I just practically just started it. Don't have, don't have too much planned. It's exactly a week until Boardsy Fest. Um, so, I mean, I'm just like still doing a lot of last minute setting up, but uh, yeah, just pretty chill. What is the most Kovacs Aim Labs combo mouse and mouse pad? I'd say like just whatever the top mouse is at the time and then an artisan pad. It's just the classic like GPX, Death Hour V3, like whatever it is. Are you still making your own mouse pad? Nah, the OG boardsy pad idea unfortunately died. Is there a difference um, for coding in the Atlantis between black and white? Yeah, on the black they have this like chalky style coding. How late do you think Bearded Bob will get the Cobra? He's easily getting it into the low 50s you can drink with 240 fps now yeah that's crazy i heard the cobra is a viper mini wireless for people who want a non-pro level feature packed mouse yeah it's like the viper ultimate like features but with the viper mini shape but they're still it's funny that they're saying non-pro level and they're literally calling it the pro also my camera died again and we are just over two hours into the stream. So I think I'm going to call it here. Um, there has been a lot of mouse discussion. I appreciate everybody who stopped by. This was definitely a fun stream. Um, but yeah, that's going to be all for now. Probably won't be live tomorrow, but I should have an upload tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, peace out, everybody. I hope everybody.